Hello there. This is General Kenobi. Hey, this is David from Black Spire Broadcast. Hey, I'm Todd Freeman, also known as the Toad. Hey, guys. Appetite for Collectibles here. Well, hey, I'm Seth. This is Rogue Squad Garage. Hey, it's J2SO. This is Joel Hazi at Hazi Custom. Hi, I'm Jason. Oh, Yo, this is Evan the Collector. And you are watching the Spice Runners Lounge. And welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. Welcome to Spice Runners Lounge. And welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. Welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. Welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. And you're watching Spice Runners Lounge. Welcome to Spice Runners Lounge. And welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. Welcome to Spice Runners Lounge. Join me and together we can move the galaxy. Welcome to the Spice Runners Lounge. Damn, so happy to be back. Another Friday, guys. Yes. That, that intro, man, just gives me hyped up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just so cool to see how how many people wanted to be part of that. That's what's awesome, you know? Hell yeah. And just oh, you did a good job thing, with the yeah. soundtrack. Uh, like I said, I wrote that, like, God, a couple of years ago, and I just did it live for a totally different video, but I'm like, you know what? This would fit perfect for this. <laughs> so that's why I put it in there. Hell yeah, Thank that's, you. That's Thank you. from America's Fruit Growers uh, for the death of the watermelon. In that scene. Yes, the death of the watermelon. That was the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Scum and villainy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for being here Friday night with us. Uh, we have a special guest with us tonight, Joe Mena, sculptor extraordinaire. Thank you for being with us here. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Thank you. This is going to be a blast, man. Uh, so, like, I don't know if you've watched our show before, but what we do is we just... We just talk and we drink, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're gonna. Drinks. What we do is, uh, yeah, it's we have drink, a drinking game where there's a, a word of a, of the night and whatever you have in your hand, it could be water, it could be energy drink, it could be beer, liquor. You just take a drink. Energy and, drink. And that, yep. So if the, so if the comments from uh, from our friends uh, that are viewing pop up with the magic word, we take a drink too. So. Every time you hear. Night, yeah. Yeah, that's usually it. Yeah, so by the end of the night, you'll, you'll be feeling pretty tipsy if you're, you know, consuming alcohol. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, if I for anything, you have to excuse me, it's because you guys keep pausing every 30 seconds. So. Uh -oh. oh, it's all good, uh -oh. man. He's out in the woods. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, internet. Got it. Okay. Uh, all, well. no, it, yeah, it's all good. Everything's good. It's all good. Yeah, and so before we get started, um, I'm, I'm going to do a little little thing for Marcel. So if, if you guys didn't know, uh, Marcel has his Darth Maul prints out. These things are fantastic. Let me bring up some pictures to share with everybody. Wow. Yeah, these, every time these high I res. See it. Yeah, every time I see it. Wow. Yeah, he sent me some high res shots, and I'm just like, oh, my God. So these things are the 16 by 20s. They're on sale now. Uh, him, him and Nancy are putting everything together, getting ready to ship them out. So, man, it's time to jump on these things because they are dope. Insane. Uh, I'm so tempted. Look at the details. You can just, like, see, like, it looks like it's, like, the paint on uh, Ray Parker. Yep. I was yeah, going to say, Marcel, you keep raising the bar, but I'm, there's no bar to be raised. There's nobody who can compete. Well, the, right? thing, that's, the thing that's insane about what he's rendering with, it's, it's all micron tip markers pens. yeah yeah it, they're they're micron pens it's and i've worked with them a lot it's of people crazy. have it's like that he can get that kind of range and value out of it is just insane yeah, yeah so it's uh, the force uh seven so he has the the ones with the plaques and uh he has some with uh i think he has some with ray parker signature but i don't know if those are, are in stock or not but this is where he, he got a chance to meet him he gave him a print so that was pretty cool that he had a chance to meet him Got and signatures, he, yeah. He doesn't yeah. do a lot of conventions either. He doesn't. And then that was the exclusive he did. With, I think that was, was this exclusive for Collection Wars? I'm trying to remember. I think this is an exclusive, exclusive he did on, on his own. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. He got the, the signatures there from Ray Park. And then uh, he just wanted to let everybody know that he's going to start shipping the, uh, the Ralph McQuarrie piece too. So can't wait to get that one i know i ordered one of those so looking forward to it 
Nice. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh, Four park signatures left. Damn. So there you go, guys. Yeah. So give a uh, Marcel a. Uh, a peek you know even if you don't want to buy anything right now uh, just check out his website he has a lot of cool stuff do you have a link to his website or yeah, I'm, po I'm posting it right now into the awesome stream yard what yeah mm -hmm. so there it is, is. yeah so <laughs> www.marcelchanet.com check him out absolutely thanks marcel for sharing that stuff with us killer yeah. work brother yeah killer work great let's see now let me get in back in here Partial to the Macquarie, but just saying. Yeah, if, if, that's in any, if, 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 if he used it in any way, used uh, the VFX Macquarie helmet, my buddy Jason and um, the the head of, you guys probably know the head of VF, VFX, uh, e, 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 EFX rather. Uh, yeah, Brian. Brian just passed. Buddy yeah. Jay sculpted the Macquarie helmet for him. He sculpted oh, wow. uh, some trooper stuff. Jake. Fine. I've been friends with him since, uh, oh gosh, back to 1989. He sculpted like a lot of Hasbro robots and stuff like that. But nice. that was the, I think it was like the Macquarie based product that M Ralph Macquarie actually, he, 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 there's, there, there's uh, photos of Macquarie actually like, you know, sign, he, he, that he actually, actually like improved in person himself. You know, not, wow. not, not loops. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think Marcel used the EFX uh, helmet as a as a reference mm -hmm. for this one. He did, yeah. So. That I do know. Well, cool. Yeah, so let's say what's up to our friends in the chat real quick. What's up, got, friends? We got Sean Solo. Sean hey, Solo. So did I pick anything up in Galaxy's Edge? I sure did. We'll talk about it here in a <laughs> second. <laughs> we got the we got Joe in the chat. We got uh, us in the chat. We got Jason in the chat. We got McFly. McFly. <laughs> got Marcel. J2SO. We got Todd. What's up, Toad? Hey, Todd. Toad. We got Flex. What's up, man? Nice. Yeah. Janine. Janine. Jose. He's like, Bueller, Bueller. Sorry. Sorry, a little late. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jeffs. We got Coy. We got Dubek. Got Rolando. What's up, Rolando? I think it's funny that half of our people we're calling off are actually on the show, but hey, whatever works. You know? <laughs> Star Wars Attic 88. Okay. Something Derek different. Derek Montgomery. Hey, Eric. We got Sean. We got Dirge Designs. Dirge. We got Tim. We got yeah. Jason. Nice. We got Props and Villainies. What's up, Kelly? Hey, Kelly. Kelly. Let's see. A lot of stuff in the chat. And then we got Justin. So cool. I think we're caught up. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. F Friday Absolutely. night. Friday night. With Joe. So, yeah, like Marcel says, gently stroke the like button, folks. You know, <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Just like, <laughs> I mean, is that how you do it? There is such a thing as angry typing. I hear it at work, especially when you're on Zoom calls. You hear people yep. typing super Oh, that's bad. Jeff. He's probably back there going... I know. Yeah, you, you hear Jeff all the time back there. Da, 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 da. It's my gaming rig, man. <laughs> you know he's got the all caps button on when he's going. To yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you guys think about using the word scope today for Ooh. the special occasion? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Just, uh, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right. So, people. Uh, out there in uh, YouTube land, word of the night is scoped. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so I guess we'll just kick it off with our first word. You know, we're going to be talking about some scopes tonight. So cheers, everybody. Ah, uh, that was good. All right, so I guess we can we can go ahead and start off with our local pick or you know whatever, whatever we've been doing you know catch up and, and talk. Hey, oh dang! Spoiler. That's a good one. Oh, All so right, I, I picked right. this dude up today at the Galaxy's Edge. Babu Frick, this thing is I was, dope. Yeah, I was gonna ask you to grab me one, and I told totally <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, it's cool. freaking awesome, man. How much was it? It's Babu Frick awesome. Yeah, well, well, with the Disney annual pass discount, it came out to like, I don't know, under 50 bucks. 
awesome, dude. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I might need to have you pick one of those up. I can soup that up, make his cowl like leather and stuff. No, I know nice. what you do with it, and it's not appropriate. So. <laughs> Yeah. The, Jeff will show you what he can do with it. Yeah, right, right. The, the, ni the Niner got me one of those for my birthday, which is really awesome. He's dope, dude. Yeah, it's a killer piece. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Next time I go, I'll, I'll pick some, some more up. I think I'm limited to two per person, so right. I'll, I'll see how I can get some. So I know I know some people had asked me for the C3PO hand, but they're they're gone. They're gone. Oh, yeah. Bummer. So sorry about that, guys. Bummer. Oh, good. Even you, yeah. Even you look I'm in uh, Orlando. Oh really? Oh yeah, no, no kidding. I've been to Disney yeah. at least. Like, yeah, I've been to Disney World at least. I don't know, twenty, thirty times. So my family's always wow. like both sides of the family. I'm fifty-two, so it opened what seventy-two, right? Seventy-one, seventy-two. I started going yeah, later. down when I was mm -hmm. my grandma had a place down there, and then my other aunt on the other side got a place down there. Down there. Nice. Last time I was down there, I think was. I don't know, For me, it was three seventy-three. Years, three, years, three, years, three years ago, two years, two and a half years, right, 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 right the pandemic. Got to go to Galaxy's yeah. Edge before the the new ride, the, the new ride, best animatronic mm -hmm. ride of all time is opened up. Oh yeah. Oh, the Rise of the Resistance. That thing is dope. Yeah. I heard so, so Jason, the the guy be below you, he helped build a lot of the Ogus Cantina and some of the other props there. No kidding. I made all the the cutouts for the Rise the. The walls that look like they're getting cut out and stuff it was a nightmare but i i did those i still haven't been on the damn ride though <laughs> this, 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 Whatever. but my if, if you ever see on facebook or instagram i saw some of you guys hit me up but i can't uh, i want i want i want i want to connect with you guys on facebook but my studio at home is covered with like everything 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 everything, everything from tons of comics star wars space 1999 star trek as you play power records just everything everything this is this is this is about it i won't be, i can only decorate my desk because this is going to be this is actually my bedroom <laughs> so the wife you know happy wife happy life but i don't need to jump in <laughs> yeah. what i did pick up for the house at a flea market last at, at a were these old you know oh, little, little little mm -hmm. little you got them scott yeah i got it yeah these are hold on go ahead right? joe oh nice yeah That's they're cool. a little they're, they're small selection oh, but i figure that was something to, to at least start with i mean I, there's not a, i'm allowed to bring certain things like i can have a fixed number of comics it's not star wars <laughs> but it did pick this up walmart but that's for a different podcast i guess and um <laughs> that's okay yeah. no we talk about anything that's collectible too for the most yeah. part no, I, I i stuff all my action figures from the 70s i uh blind, remember remember the blank i'm so i don't know how old you guys are but remember Empty box came. You got the empty box. Mm -hmm. Early bird. Yeah, I have all those mm -hmm. figures. I got them. Wow. At, at my Death Star PlayStation, my Falcon, my Damn. Razor. No, called oh, Boba Fett Starfighter. You know, Fire Spray. I got my Fire Spray. Slave and, One. Uh, <laughs> I got a ton of stuff, man. I got a ton of stuff. Well, I remember nice. when I first found you on Instagram, Joe. I, I remember it was, I was looking at artist studios. And I saw yours, and I started going down the rabbit hole, and I'm like, oh, okay. He's, he's sculpting, you know, products that we know and we collect. But, yeah, it was your studio that first kind of drew me in because I just – I love looking at artist studios. It's, I know it's kind of weird. Hey. I just love seeing people set up. So, you know. I, I, I do that because I'm classically training all that stuff. I'm, I don't, I'll let you – I don't know whatever you guys, you know, are doing. Um, no, no, man. No, no, no go I, for I, it. I got the floor. No. I, I can't, I'm first of – you know – I, I we're a good guy on the other side. Um, this is a good example of a primary influence. I grew up like, like old school DC Marvel stuff when I was really little. You know, like Jim Apparel, uh, Sal Bushima, uh, all yeah. the old Marvel DC stuff from the 70s. Uh, you know, Planet of the Apes, Space 1999, Trek Original Series, um, $6 million dollar Lost those, those <laughs> I had to, all the Migos stuff, Planet Apes, Treehouse, Star Trek, Brit Enterprise Bridge, because my brother and I were two years apart, so we always, you know, we, we didn't have money, but my parents just always went off. I had Space 1999 Eagle. I mean, I still watch all these shows to this day. I'm at her on, on Internet Archive. I'm, I'm like about to episode five of the original Planet of the Apes uh, TV. Oh, I love oh, it. Wow. Yeah, at, this, at this point, he's Galen, you know, he's 
Yeah. But, um, Isn't that Roddy it's McDowell? Roddy McDowell? Roddy, Roddy. Yeah. Is that right? Roddy, 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 Roddy McDowell. Also yeah, yeah. Show as a completely different character, had the same voice, same look. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's like uh, it's kind of like if you guys know the rock band Ghost, Papa Emeritus. He's always like George always is a different version of the same guy. But yeah, when, when Star Wars, came, we saw a Star Wars city in New Jersey, 1977, burned itself in my retina. Oh, wrong arm. No, is it? Go. Burned burned itself on my retina. Got got that 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 was this is the years ago from Zen of the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Then I got my Star Wars tattoo. Jesus, years ago. And um, that was the first thing bought Star Wars because I was like, oh, my goodness, am I going to have this on my arm now? But I couldn't be happier with what, what everything, with all they've done with it. Mm -hmm. I'm really a fan of all Star Wars. I didn't watch that one cartoon, the, the one that kind of flashed that was on Disney. or Oh, uh, oh the Visions or whatever? Yeah. 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 It was amazing. No, the one that's, it's kind of like, it came out at, during Rebels. It was kind of, it was on TV. Oh, Resistance. On. Resistance. I never watched that one, not because uh, I didn't oh, like it. I just didn't watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I watched two episodes yeah, and I quit. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I I'd rather yeah. watch, um, what's that? I enjoyed it. It wasn't, it was kiddish, but it was, it's Star Wars, like you said. I enjoyed uh, the new characters and stuff. Too kiddish for me because I mean I'm watching Ewoks right now. Seriously, I'm on season two. I was chasing that. That was like coincided with my interest in like 15 years old. So I had abandoned, but it was on Saturday morning, so I'd still watch it. it was on, I wouldn't have had a chance. But um, yeah, I gave up Dungeons and Dragons Edge and everything because I thought it was cool. But um, <laughs> you can always come home to what you love. Oh, so anyway, yeah. Star Wars, <clears throat> Star Wars radically, Star Wars just totally changed my up with it. And then, you know, you know, I had the first Treasury editions, and the I didn't have the first six issues, but I had the Treasury editions Marvel put out. I got Splinter of the Mind's Eye when that recovery for me was just like, you know, the beginning of the EU to be there. The Han Solo novel, just incredible, right? Um, I I didn't catch the Lando novels. But to, you know, when, when Droids came out, that that Stuart Copeland intro mm -hmm. song, and then the Mobius esque kind of like atmosphere that it had, I thought I, 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 Droids is a it needs a cooler show to watch. Nelvana, right? They made yeah. it basically for this for the holiday special. You know, all, you watch movies, DVD since they came out. I'm I'm hook line and sinker, so. <laughs> or can, I love it. So and that's, and that's all there on Disney Plus. You know, that's the crazy thing about it. It's all available now. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee there. you. I guarantee you. At some point, there's. I. I unless they actually have some ironclad deal with with with. Online, I would I would say the flanneled one, but call him Mr. George Lucas, right? I can't. Like never release the unspecial versions like, like mm -hmm. this contract but i would love to see same fully, here you know not the restored one of them but i would love to see like you know like the original remastered well it's like i i have a copy i have a copy of the okay so star wars or a new hope for some of you um but i have a copy of that that is before special of edition that That's is in, I think it's supposed to be in 4K. It's like 1080 is what I have. But yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll figure out where I can upload Dope, it. dude. Yeah. Is, is that a, a, like, you got it from a Fox uh, VH, uh, Betamax or did you get no, that no, from no. like a VHS? <laughs> no, no, it's 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 the four, it's supposed to be the 4K project. Oh, no one. shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, the only, yeah, the only ones I've seen were stripped from, from an actual Betamax. That's why I said that. <laughs> I was nineteen. That was my birthday present. The the box set of the th of the three films. I mean, it was it was you know, good, right? Like I had to see Star Wars like in the theater like twelve, thirteen times because there wasn't exactly then, like, twenty times. Know, twenty times. Yeah, I forget for how many yeah. times. I've seen I've seen the hope. You call it a new hope now. I can't. I can't. I don't know how many times I've seen it, and I don't well, know the words you. as well as I should. But I spent an yeah. Empire and, and same thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I used to have a tape recording of the movie that would go through the whole thing. I'd listen to it like every day in my bedroom. You know those old tape recorders? They just had the buttons on the front and the one speaker. I had a tape of that whole thing, and somebody posted today in Facebook, I forget who it was, the album. So the vinyl piece that was the Star Wars story that basically... I have, I have that's copies where it came of that. From. Somehow, somehow I got one out of the story of Star Wars. It's narrated mm -hmm. by the same guy who narrates Darth specials. Right. And he he's the voice of yeah. Um I have I have all the R stuff, the original ones with Mark Hamill. I think he did the first two, right? I forget. But um the John Williams original I think album, he did, yeah. poster it came out with. He had that great fold out poster. Oh man, I I there's I don't know how much stars I don't have. But then when it's it's got I I wanna love, you know, I forget the first Timothy novel's name. Or the, Timothy Zahn, heir to the empire. Heir to yeah, the yeah. empire came out. Yeah. I was so I was so stoked through. But when Luke talks about hot chocolate, I'm just like, oh Jesus, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do not like. I get like, and then I get Harrison Ford's talk, talking all these colloquialisms that we use, but I don't want to hear about like, you know, orange, Earth stuff in like a, ga a fantasy world. <laughs> Right. right, doesn't fill the universe. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, you got I have the marshmallows. Like about, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm sucking up on some blue milk. 130 uh, <laughs> EU novels. I, 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 I was almost really. I, I was really on the franchise because I loved New Jedi Order and all that stuff. I had all those books, man. I was. Right. R. A. Salvatore wrote that first book, and that series was great. And Corin Horn characters, Kyle Katarn. It was such a rich time to be a Star Wars fan, even without any books and comics. Yeah, and, um, agreed. My buddy, my, when I worked for Dark Horse, my buddy, Dark Horse Collectibles. Remember when Alex Ross did those covers for that new Star Wars series, of Dark? So he was sending me comps of those, like even before they hit the stands, and he sent me a deluxe edition of Omnibus that Dark Horse did many, many years ago. And yeah, man, I'm wow. I'll stop. I. I <laughs> there's, there's like no well, a lot, lot of it you're taking me back yeah so yeah you could go all right. night it's all good we can yeah we can come back and like just deep dive that stuff mm -hmm. uh, i love uh, just real quick i love that episode of uh that 70s show where they the boys just came back from seeing star wars and they're trying to convince everybody how great it is and kelso's trying to get jackie to go with them for the second time so you're already seeing it Jackie, it's a limited engagement. And then we lose. You got too, too excited. <laughs> it, 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 it kicked off such an. It kicked off a decade of the most imaginatively one kid with, from Tron to ET to you know just everything that came out over the Slater. Well, it, 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 and stuff. Yeah, yeah well, if you think back, movie, they, Star Trek, you know, everybody. they didn't want to do sci-fi. They're like, sci-fi doesn't sell. Don't do it. And somehow Star Wars happened, right? We all know the story. But because of that, look at everything that followed after that. Alien. Yeah. If Alien. Star Wars didn't go through, we wouldn't had, we would have had like nothing. Yeah. It would have been murder. It, she wrote all day long, yeah, and that's that about it. You know. Oh my yeah. god, that would be a horrible YouTube show. Yes. There's so many. Yeah, would be. In fact, like, this is part, this is a collector show, but in my teen years, I started getting this book, The Hero of a Thousand Faces, the Joseph Campbell book that inspired that in part inspired George Lucas to write make Star Wars. I mean, what? Like he he was trying to make Flash Gordon. He and Alan Ladd Jr. were going mm -hmm. to make Flash Gordon, right? But the studio wouldn't go for it. So like, so they made Star Wars, and he he relied heavily on, on Joseph Campbell's book, The Hero of a Thousand Thousand Faces. And when Bill Mo Bill Moyers interviewed. Joseph Campbell, the the hero's story, the hero's journey. How basically, you know, the the young man or woman meets the wizard, goes to this extra dimensional place, gets these magic powers, and Rejects brings him back to, to help his people. Yeah. yeah, that's like Luke's story, right? And so for me, uh, and then and then so the guy by a PBS guy, Bill Moyers, at the Skywalker Ranch, like you know, twenty years later. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It all was full circle for me. It was, it was just. My well, life, yeah, and let's not I, forget that after I, ILM did Star Wars, those guys almost did the Flesh Gordon series. So, yeah, yeah. that came really close to happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But it's just, there's never been, even when I was in Russia, there's, I had Star Wars. I somehow found these, like, like, 
stores that had the, the letters, the stickers, mm-hmm. somehow they just had, were selling just, just the stickers with the letters in packs, like without yeah. the Star Wars cards from this. And I, Russia, I've never had it. I've never had a day without Star Wars. Let's put it like that. Nice. Agreed. So, You've how, had a very awesome life so far. Right. Yeah. How how was uh, Star Wars in Russia? Was was it well known out there? Zvezdny, can't say right now. I'm tongue tied. Vinoy, no, 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 no. The biggest thing out there was Sherlock Holmes cereal. That was like their big thing, and yeah. and their big, who's their Kubrick, who I think is the greatest filmmaker of all time, a guy named Andrei Tarkovsky, movie Solaris, which is based on a Polish author, Stanislaw. They have their own, the, the Russian version of Solaris, the original film, which is much better. Stalker, which I think is even better than Blade Runner, is the greatest science fiction film of all time. Star, oh, Wars, damn. Star Wars is different. There's like, there's films, right? And, and there's movies, and Star Wars is like, you know, like the Marvel, unit, MCU is like, they're like movies, but, but like Joker was like a film. Right. Joker, like, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker was on a different level for me than, say, like, you know the Snyder cut. You know it's like a different. It was more like a, it was more like a Robert De Niro Taxi Driver film or something like a Martin mm-hmm. Scorsese movie. I don't I love know. Joker. One of my favorites. Yeah, it was awesome. But you know, so I don't mean to hijack the show. It's just I'm really I appreciate. No, 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 you're good. You're the guest. You're the guest. Yeah. Did, did Joe? Did you did you hear uh, on the Joker topic the the second one's a musical with Lady Gaga? Yeah, I, I saw I, I saw the day that the day it debuted on Instagram. I saw the yeah. flash cards that they had, you know, I, with the music. I think it'd be awesome. I, I I'm yeah. giving it a shot. The beauty of Star Wars is it's cross generational, right? I've got three kids: a 25 year old, 20 year old, oldest one just became a public defender. I mean, 20 year old <laughs> uh, working it, and she's in college. Yeah! My 15 year old's a boy. Uh, my Gatorade. Nice, man. There you go. I remember you know, my my twenty five year old, Mister Jar Jar Binks. You know, she loved the pre- I love the pre- <laughs> And I remember like my 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 second daughter's being born, and it's the weekend premiere of Attack. And, the, and we're in the hospital with the baby, and I'm there with my, I'm like, really the baby bones like with my four year old at the time, five year old, and my wife was like, go, and I'm. <laughs> I almost did it. Almost did it. But, you, you had know. a pass. You had a pass. <laughs> then now for my 15 year old, you know, every time there's like a and or or Boba, F- we're Disney Plus Wednesdays and Fridays are our days, right? So like my boy and, and um, I actually just took him to a Chili Pepper show, his first concert ever, two nights nice. ago, up, which is the most horribly designed stadium in the world, and I mean <laughs> my my. But just the fact that it's a giant stadium too, my feet were burning every step of the way. But chili peppers are awesome. But they're not. Star Wars. I was going to ask well, how that concert you know, went. And, chili, and you can link that to Star Wars. Please, Boba Fett. And then California yeah, has a link to it. But they call yeah. that Star Wars Alderaan in the California yeah. song. Like how many how many years ago, right? Like yeah, it's two thousand. It all it all comes back to Star Wars. Can't deny it. Heck Always. yeah. Star Wars is life. <laughs> George Lucas cool. It's some, you know, uh, people shit on him all the time. You mind allowed to curse on the show? Yeah, yeah. man. No fucking way. Fuck yeah. <laughs> not, like, I, because of, because of, because of the other existing, I probably shouldn't. But um, yeah, man. I mean, I trash George Lucas and the prequels and all this stuff. It was so interviews with Hayden like or hearing 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 you and say like wow you know I had a mixed feelings about Star Wars for so many years but when people my kids generation come and say you know then like that's beautiful you know to see see how, how happy Hayden's interviews it transcended you know? to the next generation that that's what I think is powerful mm-hmm. about yeah. it it's like I love slow burn that Hayden from- yeah, I mean, yeah. you look at that younger generation, you talk about your kids, and I learned that from my coworkers before I had kids. They're like, oh, yeah, they, they love the prequels. They love the Clone Wars cartoons. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's keep Good it job, going. Man. I mean, he, yeah. to see him so happy now was just like, to see him, re- to, 
doing a mod best for Mage Suicidal because of Star Wars. And Jake right. Roy knows where he is. Yeah, I think he's had a rough time. Yeah. That's and he, but... honestly, when in the old days, you watch the back of the DVD, I thought the first kid that George Lucas screen test with Jake Lloyd, you know, at least it did. It, it's not ever, you know, you can't be said like we're talking about movies in general. He's like, people's problems are, are they go into nations. Like, you know, you can't make things for fans and you can't expect your version of whatever it is you're going to see. You should got, you need to go in with an open mind or you just always. Except yep. when you're looking at my sculptures, how's that for a segue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of this, right, man? You you are contributing to keeping the fandom alive, right? You, you contribute to the community with, with your art. And yeah. one of the Jump things card. that we all love about this, this hobby is now we've got such a variety of collectibles to choose from, so many great artist representations of these characters it's an embarrassment of riches. You know, we live in a great time where we can have your work. We can have work from sideshow hot toys. I mean, it's just, it's a kids, it's a star Wars kids. Mm. You know, uh, it, well, a lot of the stuff is what we wish we had back, back in the late seventies, yeah. early eighties, yeah. you know, yep. devil's Cause advocate. everything I, the yeah, I, the I, proportions were like, wrong. The technology wasn't there yet, you know, so, but go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying devil's advocate. But remember love to have that mystery around all of it, too, though? Like, I remember yeah. after Empire, I took my Star Wars figure, my, v my VHS camera, my VCR camera, and, and I made a stop, the struggle of the Alliance. And it's all like, all my, my stuff. Little like my little Kenner figures are like moving around, and I overdubbed it with John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Like, you wanted to know. Yeah. You wanted to. You wanted to. Yeah. You were imagining all this other stuff. Yeah. There's a little bit of like, I like what uh, the director Ragnarok. I forgot how to pronounce his name when he's talking about making Tiki. a Star Wars movie. I like, yeah, yeah, I like that he said like, you know, I have like, uh, I don't need to make a film about like. The blueprints of the Millennium Falcon are like eating Chewbacca's grandmother. Like he wants to do something new. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going, say this is a st like collectibles, right? Whether people are a lot of money or working at working at a convenience store or a gas station making less money, and really hard to make the money. You, you know, it's 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 life is hard. When when you have the opportunity to make something that makes people happy, that is a yeah. gift from the yeah. yeah. that they're going to spend their hard earned money on something that you were able to participate in. That's the ability. So I feel like anytime whether it's Batman or anything, anything a sculpt test character ever for for the people that love it. So when they go in there in their look at a shitty day and they see it, it makes them feel good, you know. And oh, yeah. when I contribute a very there's an art director there's an there's a concept artist there's the sculptor there's a prototyper there's a painter there's the factories it takes an army of people with statue or action figure so i'm just like part of that equation and that's the only part of it that but um i will say like with the very first star wars piece to ever, i was working for general giant at the time i've worked for everybody i work my primary <laughs> until recently was was DC Collectibles. I worked for them for 12 years. Oh, wow. Well. I started off doing stuff for Hasbro, and that led to doing stuff for a guy named Randy Bowen. You guys know Bowen Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I worked for Randy, did his first ever digital statue, started working for DC years. And then I also worked for Sideshow, um, probably other folks who I, I'm neglecting to blanking on not be, on, not purposely um so when i was working for general J and my art director, director was like you want to do star wars i'm like yeah i fucking love star wars I'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like i'm like oh, dude i love everything i, I, I love jar jar binks the chops he, i did that you guys see the jar jar binks the christmas like collector's guild one yeah that, i remember that one the light yeah, yeah I, I sculpted that i sculpted that uh there's that another one. <laughs> was that your first piece for General Giant? That was my Joe? first ever Star Wars piece. And then the next one was the cart 
Trooper. Scout Trooper with the Ewoks hanging all over him. You guys oh, yeah. Him? Oh, that's a cool oh. one. Yeah, that is a oh, cool yeah. one. Awesome. He gave me the gift of all gifts. And, and the this version of the Spider Cyborg Mall from Clone Wars. Yeah, we, that we, was... Evan is still bitter about that because we were at Celebration 2019. He couldn't grab it. We kept going every oh day. Oh, my God. It was you capped know, out every day. Oh, oh, I you just, see they shrunk was... it down, too. They, they yeah. released a smaller bigger... version, too. Yeah, I was just watching it. I didn't tell anyone because I didn't want anyone to jump on it. I was watching it today. <laughs> Smart. I was going to message you guys and be like, it's on eBay. And I, someone had it for 100 bucks. And, oh, man. Uh, I was the top bidder with, with five seconds left. I had $200. $200 for this damn thing. Two, three seconds, you're outbid. Someone got 202 I was <laughs> Damn, I was, dude. The first time I'm wow. It wasn't me. Yeah. Man, that was my fiance. <laughs> that was, that was oh, yeah, dude. So uh, how big that, was it originally? Well, the cool thing about working in the industry is you get comps usually. <laughs> Companies yeah. don't. General Giant. Uh, is now part of Diamond Select Toys, as you guys might. Yep. Diamond Select Toys and DC were the two best companies when it came. Diamond Select Toys. So I worked for DC for 12 years. I've worked for Diamond even longer now. My, my boss there, Chuck, is um, probably the most stand-up, solid guy. I know I've had other great bosses too. George Brewer, DC Direct. Jim Fletcher, DC Direct for many, many years. Um. Uh, but so I did a lot. I, so what I kept doing stuff for, for I, I, I did, uh, see general giant where they weren't, you were allowed to shoot. I was allowed to shoot my, my digital models with the sculpts, um, without, um, yeah. edited. Oh, so right when, back in the old days, the, the former general giant was also involved in the, and so they had an inventory of, they were, they worked for the studios. So I did it. I did it at Mace Wing. But if you look, see my renders, it doesn't have his face because General Giant, they they did that that in house. I did a couple more Star Wars pieces for them, but then the the then I was really lucky for Sideshow, like I don't know, 2011, 12, also, and um, there's some work I did. In, I did. I, I can't. I won't say explicitly what I did, but you may have seen it many, 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 maybe ten years ago more about a Macquarie series that never came out. The Mm. And it never came out, but there is a YouTube video about it. I was involved in that. I won't. Um, I got to do the quarter scale Death Trooper for Sideshow. Wow! Oh, you did that? Yeah, yeah, that was a blast, man. That's in my collection so, downstairs, man. Oh, really? Yeah. I, love that I sculpted piece. it with Get my it. art director Kevin Ellis and Tim Hansen, yeah. the head of uh, cutting stuff parts and stuff. Um, that was a lot of fun to work on. Six scale job of the hut, which for me is like a quarter scale statue. It's so big. Mm -hmm. Jeff here just uh, got that, that one two weeks ago. Yeah, you know, that, that, I wish I had one of those, man. That was a blast. Dude, that so, thing so, is, all the all that the companies work, man. Oh, that look at that! Is, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, see, when I sculpt these things, I engineer yeah, largely yeah. too. So we we did that. Yeah. Three no, no, no. different mouths, right? Yeah. No, three sets of eyes. Three sets of eyes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think. And the mouth. You know, I did uh, I did uh, Salacious Crumb there. He's got different arms. Wow! I didn't do the I did I did the frogs. Um, I didn't do any of the pillows or stuff that you see there. Uh, <laughs> it was and it was painted by I think I believe Casey Love painted this. Uh, uh, Sideshow's people, uh, great team of artists. Their in-house yeah. sculpting staff is just second. Friends are Alfred Paredes, Matthew Black, um, Will That's Harbottle, right. Jim Moore. Walker. They're just all great guys, Casey and they're painters like Cat Sapin and the main. So Joe, uh, uh, Joe, a piece like this, the did you did the digital sculpt, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like from beginning to end, what what's the the time frame look like until you get from kind of concept well, to final? I, my, final my, day, my my day job is cool because it's four ten hour days. So I have usually have Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to work on stuff. Like sometimes. It's, it could be two to three months. Um, sometimes other wow. projects float depending on needs. Like I've probably done as much Star Wars stuff from the back till now as I've ever done in the past 12 years because um, wow. General Giant it kept me really busy. You may mm -hmm. have seen the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett that done me. 
Um, yeah, dude, I love that they, piece. Uh, thanks, man. And then and then recently, it, the Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett, they they premiered at Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, signed I, I signed up for the guild membership just for that. Comps yeah, yesterday. Badass, man. Thank you. They just that well, Dev Gilmore. He's he's a great art director, great guy. Um, they have great concept artists there. The paint on that one really sold it for me, like just the, the whole render. Yeah. They they have shop uh General Giant and um you know Gabe Garcia, sculptor himself, he's also um well known, he's very well known also in the kid industry. But he, he runs I think he does the proto he, he supervises the prototyping and dev. Um they're just they're th- Working yes. for yeah, I just I, I, oh, that, oh. my picture. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I just got mine yesterday. I got my comp. So, comp Were you happy with weird. how it came out? I didn't take it out of the box yet because I I was coming right up here. I got a <laughs> here. <laughs> so, priorities, it's priorities. Yeah. Well, it's a two and a half hour drive. To get up before it got dark because I got home from work late. Hmm. Like I, like I'm up in like I'm, it's it's technically it's the Poconos. But I'm up in a town called Holly. Um, it's all, it's almost three hours from my house. I, I live about 10 wow. minutes south of tr- work in Philly during the day. Awesome. So to get up here, man, like, I, I know just a spider, like, you know, black convertible, new one. Like, not new, and the last one they ever made, but the last year they made a time, and with a, it's like, there's no lights. So I wanted to leave early. I think I have like they gave me five or six of them, which is very, very generous. Of, of them. Oh wow! That's wow. Awesome. So Joe, yeah. for piece, for that particular piece, what are you coming up with the poses? Or are they giving you direction on concept on... art? No, I, I typically get concept art. Okay. Wow. You know, when I was when I was doing which is, this is McFarland, but when I was doing DC direct stuff, because it's DC, like most of the time we were just just like I did an Alex Ross Batman statue that came out just when the when DC direct pulled. Now, now McFarland runs the, the DC Direct brand, but the very last thing across Batman statue that was taken directly from one of the panels, one of the thing that Alex Ross did um, many, 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 many years ago. Other companies like, uh, like I did some bookends, some Ang and bookends for Dark Horse. I got to, to design those myself. Um, I recently. I recently did a, a bust where I was able to, to to do the drawing myself for submission. To, uh, but a, a lot of times, the cool, but the you get con- like companies are very strict about the control art. Other per, other companies look at it more of a touch. Which comes more like what your art director wants. Like so, like I may get where it's like this, but the art director says like, no, make his arm move his arm out. And you got to remember too. These people are always thinking about packaging and stuff, right? Yeah. So there's a, yeah. all right, if you get create some of these crazy like quarter scale <clears throat> statues, you know, you're getting that and stuff that you typically see. They need to be more spatially economical, you know. I mean, you might get to come off or that, but you don't know, see like mini busts are usually pretty pretty wise, you know. Um, I've done so many recently that like. You know, maybe maybe I should maybe I should pull something up myself so I don't. So I don't. Just real quick, too, Joe. uh, Our friend Joel here, Hazi Customs. Everything you see behind you in his view, he's made all that. He's he's a custom developer. Except for the snow speeder. Except for the snow speeder, but uh, Joel Joel (laughs) is an incredible artist. I think I think custom I think custom work in the background. uh, Um, is that um. Zoom in again. Solis- yeah. Lando Solistan partner. What the hell is Solistan Solistan partner? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, nine, nine noon. Yeah, Nian noon. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Harvey said. I call him Nub yeah. Dub. Oh look, you got the cartoon, but you got that. You got the Nelvana. Yeah, dude, he did, he did <laughs> that. He did that this week. He did that this week. <laughs> he, he did uh, exactly. that this morning. <laughs> I love it. I just, I, I, it's amazing, man. Great that, you know, I was supposed to do. General Giant did the cartoon version of the Nelvana Boba Fett many, many yeah. years ago, and I was supposed to do that. Kind of punked out on him because I had other work going. See, um, see, most, most, most freelance uh, 
collectible sculptors. I'm just gonna pull up my, my art station page, which is that's a yeah. that's like a it's my gallery website. So I don't talk about stuff that I'm not allowed to because I forget what I forget what's been, if if it's been released I've 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 already put it online already, but um, <laughs> if I have I, I'm telling you, I do a lot of I'm not saying I'm doing any now I'm just saying say you know like, <laughs> you know you know what um, I think is is really cool about you Joe is that you are you could make anything you want you're a sculptor you can do anything you want and you're yeah. showing off little pieces of of you know, cake toppers or whatever that you're buying in your own collection, you know, that's awesome. Well, I, I'm, I don't want to flex. I also did the concept sculpture model for the largest statue in the history of the planet. It's in Gujarat, India. It's a uh, Sardar Patel. He's a, he was like a, a he's uh -oh. just one of India's founding fathers. It's it's the biggest statue on the planet. It's like 600 feet tall. Um, wow. my, my day did job you make that one? Very high profile, classically What's that? Did, did you yeah, make that, that giant? Damn, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Hey, Joe, did we lose you? I, that's just so awesome that he, he does that. Uh, that he, mm -hmm. You know, I, I do the same thing. That. There he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. No, yeah, I, I did this. I, I, I uh, Michael Graves, an associate's architect. My buddy worked there. They hired me to sculpt the concept model. It was understood that it was yeah! necessarily who right. made the actual, you know, sculpture, sculpture. And it really CNC machines, and it's fabricated three, 600 feet tall. Nobody actually sculpted it. It's sculpted. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. But, but <laughs> I, I, That's right. <laughs> I love keep drinking times. But I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was... I went to. I studied sculpture for ten years. I, I finished my studies in Russia because I had a teacher wow. in, who's Ukrainian, but he studied at the Russian School Academy in Saint Petersburg. So, I went to grad school and I went there, and, and it was a long journey, man. It's uh, that got into the the foundry where I worked. They came in one day and they were taking away all our traditional stuff, saying, "You guys, are, I had a kid already. Maybe a, hey, I, I, I had one kid." Sec coming on the way I learned all the, I learned all the, like ZBrush and Maya and all this stuff and and then in 2001 I started studying digital by 2005 I started getting gigs and, and I'm doing like bows for like guys with 3d printers like you know down the street from was that a tough out. transition Jim going from traditional sculpting to now the digital modeling I mean was that, yeah. was that no was well that like the po moving points and vertices and space that kind of thing that's a little that even that's not necessarily totally counterintuitive. The cool thing about digital digital, I'm, t I'm doing oof, doing it on. This is my the back home. I have one that's like three times as big as this, on a tablet, with with a pen, and I'm sculpting all the stuff pretty much like I'm drawing in three dimensional space. You know, it opened oh, your world. Wow. Yeah. And so drawing is a big part of my training and background too, and I love to draw. Yeah, so it really for me, actually, just wasn't wasn't a big switch at all, and um, yeah. So I, General, Diamond just re General Giant released that concept uh, Macquarie Stormtrooper. I did that. Yeah, dude, I love that. That came out incredible. Thank you. I did I did the realistic Ezra, which doesn't look realistic the way he's depicted in the the Ahsoka show. It looks like they're gonna have to make a new one. <laughs> uh, Mace Windu. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was that really difficult. Fun. Because I had to learn how to do all these textures and stuff in a different way than I've normally done them. One of the best portraits I think I've done, I'm not saying it's good, but for me, our best portraits and my art director, Dev, he really drove me, pushed me to get it. Uh, Moff Gideon mini bus, that was a lot of fun to do. I don't mm. know if you saw that one. Yeah. yeah. The Yoda, the le le Legends in Three Dimensions, the Yoda half life size bus, that was just a freaking joy to do, right? That was just yeah. like. And then the sculptor's little house in the bottom. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then, like, you, I did a bunch of Boba Fett bus. I did a Mandalorian bus. I'm um, just going to the J Jabba. Do you have oh, a favorite and, piece from them? That? Do you have a favorite General Giant no. piece? No. 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 Um, I don't have a favorite. I, 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 well, no. I, I, I just, going back to the old General Giant, I did the Bib Fortuna mini bus. Where he's like, oh. Oh, nice. Joe, can that I tell you, my local shop here has that sitting there, and I've been looking at it for, like, six months. Really? And I'm just 
Yeah. I Better just... p- pull the trigger now. Yeah, I need to. Six months is like oh, time to pull the trigger. Yep. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, Force Awakens Admiral Akbar. Oh, and then my I Death Trooper. I did a, I did a pull. Your deal. Exclusive. I love that Akbar. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised uh, Scott didn't do that. Oh, I mean, sorry. I, it's I, a trap. Yeah. The only one I have up in my studio is the Death Trooper. I, I was able to get a Death Trooper life size bus. I mean, the, the, the quarter life size. I also did a court. I also did a mini bus for General Giant prior to separately from that. I did a Poe Dameron <laughs> bus for for General Giant. Just I'm just going through my page here, going back to the oldest Star Wars stuff I have. Yeah. Then hey. it's then it's Darth Maul. Then it's then it's Jar Jar. Hey Joe, is it? And I don't know if you can say this, but what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite company that you you freelance for? Um, I have to say the most solid and the most loyal company for me has, has is a company I'm currently mostly doing the work for now. Is oh. is, is Diamond, Diamond Select, which is which is General Giant. They General own General Giant. Giant. Yeah. But um, also I equally, Sideshow has done as much and been just as great good to me for my career and DC and Dark Horse. There's not a single company. I wasn't as close with McFarlane, but they were great to me. But I was very close with DC. A lot of friends there worked there. DC Direct. Then That's changed awesome. to DC Collectible, then changed back to DC Direct. Dark Horse Collectibles, now they're called. Sideshow, McFarlane. I mean, Sideshow. And, and they're just my friends. And, 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 and especially um, during the pandemic, it was tough for a lot of companies. And even though I have a day job, I, 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 this is this is part of my income, and I need to do it, and I love it. Uh, Goddamn, if if I mean I'm doing like three, four jobs at a time for for Diamond General Giant, like wow, that's we, awesome. Because they, they know I have a day job, so they don't really give me the jobs that have hard deadlines. And like while we're waiting for approvals or con comments from one, for one, then maybe they give me another one, and then maybe we're still waiting for both of those, and so like it wasn't like I'm getting five at a time. It was just like the way it would work out. Like, you know, usually it's like two or three. Make like like even now I've got I've got like three gigs running right now. Like one just got approved today. Uh, another one we're waiting to hear about. Another one I'm working. I'm not cool. saying. Tell us about all those. But what are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not even saying they're for for no. for for. I I'm I also did work for Dark Dark Horse and um. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, you know, Sideshow did an artist profile for me many years ago, which was a gift that they gave me, and I got a lot of mileage out of that. And uh, that is know, a gift. Yeah, it was really wonderful that they did it for me. And um, is there a property or character you haven't done yet that you really, really want to? Um, <laughs> that he goes black. Yeah. 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 Every time you have to drop, I drop the mic. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you? yeah. Honestly, I mean, if I could do some, I did like a more art. I did like an artsy kind of sculptural Bla- uh, Roy Batty. If I could oh, work on Blade okay. Runner, that would be fucking fantastic. Honestly, dude. If I, could I think there's a market for it, man. There's a market for it. Shit. Why yeah. hasn't anybody yeah. done any goddamn? I mean, I love. The, I have the NECA. I have the K and the, and the Deckard, and I got this. I have the Spinner. I have. Uh, I have the. I got the DVD Voight Comp, you know, box set that mm-hmm. came with all the different versions of the film, and it came with a little almost like Matchbox style Spinner, which is really cool. Do you ever I mean, do it yourself? I mean, have you ever thought about just branching out and just kind of just a small run? No, I mean, as, honestly, I'm I'm all about customs, which are cool, but I'm I'm totally against other sculptors doing like quarter scale Superman statues, having them 3D printed, casting them in resin, painted like their sideshow statues, because every, every 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 that's piracy for me, as far as I'm concerned. Customs mm-hmm. are not, man. Customs are not. Do not do not take offense. Customs is like fan art. It's you're doing your thing. There's no, I have no problem. Uh, there's a ton of fan art on my on my on my goddamn web page, right? I do <laughs> fan art all the time. It's and it, I would I would happily 3D print it. And I've got buddies that could print it. If I had a 3D printer, I'd print it. You know, but when but when somebody's like back in the old days, I remember Randy Bowen before like Facebook and shit like that. Randy Bowen's like posting posting pictures of these factories that are like recasting and shit and yeah that's and, and, and like making yeah. money and they're making yeah. bogus bowens and yeah. like and so anytime anytime somebody does like a superman statue or whatever and 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 makes like a couple maybe 50 or 100 of them or 10 of them 
that's money out of my pocket and every other sculptor in the industry and every painter and every prototype or whatever. Yeah. It's like people think like I know these companies people think these companies make gazillions of dollars and they kind of do, but it also kind of costs a lot of friggin' money. Just, I, I, there were a couple of times like rebellion. All right. I got, can I duck for a second? Yeah. 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 Go for it. Yeah. Like what he's saying, you know, there's no money into the one offs. Oh, I got my my wife is my wife's being really, 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 really liberal. She's not here. I'm here alone this week, but she's been really liberal. I've got about twice as many books here. Nice. Yeah, but so like you know, this is one. Of, this is when I discovered. Oh, Judge, Judge Dredd. Oh, yeah. when I discovered through Eagle Comet. Did you guys ever see the Judge Dredd I did for Pop Culture Shock? The big quarter scale Judge Dredd on the. Oh, bike. you did that. That was me. The big on the yeah, on the really? Lawmaster. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Look, okay. No. That I was me. That. Jerry, my buddy Jerry Macaluso hired me to do that. Um, but before that, Rebellion, the company that now owns the Judge Dredd license in 2000 AD, I got exposed to Judge Dredd through Eagle Comics and stuff. I I didn't know about 2000 AD until later. When Eagle Comics came out when I was maybe 15 years old. The American reprints of Judge Dredd in color, which was really a black and white book mm -hmm. in 2000 AD anyway. Um, they, I, I ran up to, I went up to their booth at one at like New York Comic Con or San Diego. And this guy, Keith Richardson, working for them, I was like, hey, I'm Joe Mena. I know. I said, hey, I'd love to can I, I'd love to get the license for Judge Dredd. My buddy, Jason Wires. Jason Wires Productions is the number one independent prototyping and painting company in the country, hands down. So my buddy, Jason Wires, is 3D printer, painter, master artist, great guy, one of my best friends. And um, so he and I were trying to, we were thinking about doing some stuff here and there. He had his own stuff going on, too. I went up to the booth and I asked him about getting the Judge Dredd license because typically this shit costs like a lot of money, right? Getting a license. Yeah. They, they, they gave it to me for free. He's what? like, dude, <laughs> he's like, dude, I know you're the guy that sculpted Randy Bones Mephisto, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. oh my God, I'm such a big fan of your work, blah, blah, blah. You can have the license. I was like, you kidding me? Wow. Like, no. But wow. then we started rolling through like the, doing the numbers and what it's going to cost to get it done and this and that. And it was like, we, it was you know, it's just a big chance to take, and it's not that you can't do great things without taking big chances. It's just but, the ramp up cost. It's, it's, yeah, you know. it's just, um, and I'm trying to just keep the keep the boat floating by working two full time jobs, and it was yeah. just a lot of shit. Equally, like one of my outside of Luke Skywalker, I would say my favorite fantasy character is Elric of Melna Bonet <laughs> by a guy named Michael Moorcock. Elric's like this albino. Uh, uh, elf-like character who has a black sword that sucks people's souls. It's fiction. There's, there's a lot of comics and stuff out about it now, but it, literature. It's actually, this guy, the idea of the multiverse, right, it's been around forever in, in science, but it originated in, 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 in literature in, in, the, in the writings of a guy named Michael Moorcock in Elric. Elric was what this guy called the eternal champion. And there's like multiple versions of him, parallel versions of him, in all different universes and one he's got one name another name another name but they're all kind of tangentially the same guy they all have the same so yeah. anyway i i wanted i got the i got the license i was trying to get the license for elric but they wanted like so much money up front i had a i had a big i had a, a new studio that was going mass produce it for me the whole nine yards but this guy wanted like five grand like, as a minimum as a minimum guarantee and that was just like all my statue buddies are telling me that's like that's bananas, dude. Like, yeah, crazy yeah. if you go for that. So, yeah, the long story short is like, I thought there, there was a brief, and then I was going to make my own line of stuff, and then I got a competitor. I wouldn't say solo, there was a solo RPG called Tunnels and Trolls, it came out the same time as Dungeons and Dragons. They gave me the license for free, too. And, um, <laughs> it just it all it never, never took off, you know. And then, so now I have like. So, I don't do customs, but like I, I'll, I'll do my own personal work, and you know, sometimes I do fan art a lot. Um, but I just kind of pivoted back to just I said f it, and I just stayed with working for companies because at this point, on it's getting kind of weird. Though, honestly, I th you, you would think after this many years, and, and I don't. It's just the industry's changed a lot. Um, I'm I'm grateful to still be in it. Um, I want to be in it as long as I think I can be in it, but I don't know how long it wants me to be in it because things change. But yeah, but it sounds like you're moving with the technology. Yeah, you're you're adapting. You're adapting quickly and shifting into that. So I, I think I think you got many years left, man. 
well, it's my opinion. Right, it's not the technology. Yeah. I think it's just more like what honestly. Would push you out? What would yeah. push you I, out? I, I just, there's a lot. Of, there's an incredible amount of talented people out there. I'm just gifted. I get in early, you know. That's how you're I humble. Know people, I don't know <laughs> if you have a shelf life with certain companies or what or how it rolls. I'm not complaining. I mean, I have work. I work is I mean, things are going okay. No, and um, you know. Hey, hey, Joe. There's a question in the chat for you. Sure. So it says, uh, if, do approvals, so we, I can't even read this. If it wasn't it. asked already, approvals I have heard do not cross actors for likeness at work. Keep having to actually do work. What, is, what does that mean, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no, no. You, um, um, if, if, you, if you have a, typically, my understanding, if, if it's not, say, if, oh, say, say it's, say it's for movie, co if it's for, Lucas, if it's for movie a company A or movie company B, they might approve it. But oftentimes, I I see things that are called because I'll, I'll see an email chain like talent approval, meaning the the actor. Oh, so it requires okay. Yeah. So, so if it's it marked, all depends, it all depends on what. Who knows what that person's contract is with the with the studio or what yeah. the studio is and or what the or what the or what the company's contract is with the licensor. It's all different, man. It's like so, like the Mace Windu that you just did. Did Samuel? Do you know if Samuel Jackson had no idea? I, have, not, right? I truly have no idea. But I've yeah, it's, it's like a John Carlos Posito. He didn't know that they made uh, the the statue of him from Star Wars from the Mandalorian. We had to show it to him at a uh, MegaCon. We're like, yeah, this is you, man. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. well. I I know that um, I did one of my first projects way way back in the day for DC Direct was a Michael Keaton Batman statue. Oh, yeah. And my art director was later at a bar somehow at a I don't I forget what it was, but my, he's next to Michael Keaton, and he didn't art direct that project. <laughs> my my old my, my first boss at DC Direct George Brewer directed it. My later boss for more for many many years uh, Jim Fletcher. But anyway, my buddy Brian Webster was at the bar and he and he and he saddles up. He just strikes up a conversation with Michael Keaton, tells him who he is, and Michael Keaton told him that that statue at that time. Was the best was his best and favorite one version yeah. of him he's ever oh, seen. Really? Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. Now, granted, I'll be no. There's been a lot more that have come out since then. The NECA one that's out now is amazing. NECA yeah, but he really... got he got Mr. Mom's approval. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, there's I burned some bridges with some companies and stuff, and there are other companies. A lot. Of, there's like one company now that wanted me to work for them, but for many years, like ten years, and I was just too busy. And so when I hit him up this summer, I was like, hey, I think I can fit something in. Guys tell me I'm not dedicated. I'm not. I'm oh, not, my God. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't work hard enough. So, and, so you're saying uh, they kind of look at it as like they're giving you a gift. And if you don't accept uh -huh. it. Well, no, this one particular person was like, was gaslighting me for being not. He was saying like, oh, well, you have a full time job. So that means you're not dedicated. I'm like, bro, uh, I've been in this business longer than you've been a company. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's all good. Yeah, it yeah. gets a little personal. People get, it gets personal. I, 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 I lose my cool sometimes. I behave unprofessionally. You're an artist, man. I mean, well, get out of here with that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it's, it's, if somebody knows your body, oh, no, I appreciate, I, I, you I'm sorry. I hear what you're saying. You yeah. should no, never I'm, say that. If somebody knows your body of work, mm -hmm. lack of commitment, and and investment in your art should never be a question. That's what no, that it was more just bullshit. You guys just trying to piss on me, like kind of. He obviously started. upset that you didn't work yeah. for him back when, and that you're not dropping everything to kiss his feet. And right. people get like yeah, that. Yeah, and that's why they throw that concepts stuff. all the time. You want to do this? Yeah. You want to do this? And I'm like, no. And it wasn't for an American company. It's for it was for it was very very. Uh, very, very no, no one it was no, and when i first started working i have a bug up my ass my art director has would give me shit and i'd be like well i'm a, i'm a classically trained sculptor don't you know here's all and i'd send him all pictures of my anatomically yeah. correct work you mm -hmm. know and he would be like you know and i was so immature and whatever and and even even recently i had a dust up with an art director and i, I whether i feel i'm right or wrong it's just the professional the professional thing to do is to stay professional and it's not professional to argue with people. I've had people accuse me of like plagiarizing. I've had company A accuse me of using their work for company B. Really? I've never done that in my life. It's total bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, I've lost work for companies for years on end, and then they hire me again because people because personalities clash. I mean, we're, everybody's human. Yeah. Well, you've but got like, personalities that clash, and then you have other people that that want 
what you removed because you're taking something from company B or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? You've got yeah, people that get that jealous crap. and all that other crap. Well, and it, yeah. it's such crap to deal with. Um, but most, I, no, I love the companies. Are, companies have been a joy to work with. Uh, as a uh, pandemic right. was weird with, I did, I did kind of like wind up, I had to like, I just felt a need to insulate myself from a lot of people, like fellow artists, basically, exclusively. And I wound up just like disconnecting and blocking a lot of people on social media who I've been friends with forever. But if there's one little thing here and there, it just felt a little toxic and a little weird. And the pandemic really showed me who like, who were kind of like the butterflies were and who the solid friends were. And at this age, man, I just don't give a shit. I'm 52 years old. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> That's all I feel now, man. Yeah, I just, I, hear you. I just want to enjoy my family. My wife and my kids are all I give a shit about. My mom, my parents, whatever. I love, my my day job is like a gift from 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 all the all the gods and every pantheon, you know. And and the side career is a gift from the gods and and and, and what every other pantheon, you know. And it's just. I'm blessed, man. I'm living it. I'm doing everything I ever wanted to do. Yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, like when you were younger and you'd see old people and you're like, why are they so mean? And now you know. You know exactly, exactly. why they're mean. That's you why know? I about Scott every week. There's one exactly. Guy, yeah. There's one famous sculptor in the industry who went, really went out. He was a traditional sculptor. And he went out being the contentious, <laughs> meanest motherfucker in the business, honestly. <laughs> and he's still around doing his private work. And I'm like, anytime I kind of would start to go over the top, I just like, I don't want to be him. And yeah, um, exactly yeah. I really don't. But I just feel like yeah. also, I have people like follow me. Like, this one, I have people follow me around conventions from booth to booth to booth. I'd be like, and, and, and you know, I, every time I talk to a client, they'd satellite right next to them and follow, you know, I call them like client poachers. Or then you get the people that email you every time asking you like for your client's email address. I never asked anybody for help for work for anything. I did it all by myself, like everybody else did. I mean, it's all cool. But then you know, I got other people like I'm in the middle of a meeting in my day job, and somebody's texting me like, "How do you do this?" I'm like, "I can't talk. I'm in a meeting." But yeah, okay, fine. But how do you do this? I'm like, bro, <laughs> bro, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, t I'm in a Zoom meeting with like. Don't you hate that? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Evan, I already apologized, dude. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's happened to me a few times. Like I'm over there, like briefing people and people that are I am and me. I need help. I'm like, dude, I'm. Don't you see my thing says in the Zoom meeting? Dude, that's that's my world. Are you kidding me? I'm getting texts, calls, chat. Yep. But I Joe, just... is it is it? Uh, would you liken it to what I always remember hearing about with comedians, right? Like, you know, you stole my material or. Does it ever get like that in the sculpting world where somebody says, you know, oh, like, that was yeah. my, I had a concept like that or I had a, a pose? No, no, no. But like, like cool. I, I blocked one sculptor and he, I forgot to block him on the phone, unfortunately. He, <laughs> he sends me this histrionic message the other day. He's like, oh, you blocked me because you made a comment about 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 uh, doing, you know, unlicensed statues. You, I made a comment on somebody's post about like, unlicensed statues of piracy. I'm, I'm again, I, 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 blah, 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 you know, uh -huh. taking money out of my, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and this sculptor texts me, oh, you're, you're unfriending me because I supported him. I'm like, I don't, I don't even remember, I don't even remember that conversation. That's why I'm, I don't even remember you because you're an egomaniacal asshole that called me like 15 years, 20, 10, 15, 12 years ago, crying that if I didn't help you with the digital stuff, you weren't going to be able to feed your family. And then once you're able to go fully digital independently, you never talk to me again. Wow. So like, you know, oh, I had so many people in the beginning do that. Like, how do you like? I was one of the first guys going digital. I'm not trying to say like I, this. I sound like a shitty asshole right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I, I, it's I, real I do, world. I do to the people yeah. in the industry. If they, anyone, if anyone's going to listen, no, I helped out a lot of people in the beginning. And honest to Christ, it, nobody ever reciprocated. My the only person in the industry. I, 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 my one, the boy, my buddy Jason, I just mentioned earlier, and there's another fellow, one of the most legendary sculptors of all time. Uh, yeah. He's become a mentor, and he was a he's, he's a mentor and friend in the business. One of my best friends in the business, this guy Steve Kiwis. Dark Horse has a book out about him, Babes, Beast, and Brawn. Um, he was he, he's the guy that invented the modern action figure. He did, I think, McFarlane's first wave of superheroes. Um, he's Steve Kiwis is totally digital now. He's he's a legend. He did a lot of those Jack specific, the, the big Star Wars figures that you saw mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah. And yeah. He sculpted for every company that's out there too. And he's, 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 he's yeah. always been helpful. He's, he's always throwing me work, trying to refer me to people and stuff. 
you know, Joe, where Joe, where do you put all your digital artwork? Are you are you a Google Drive guy? Are you a Dropbox guy? <laughs> Sorry, no, I have Je- three. Jeff's trying to sell you something, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I, have, I have three. Like, let's just like a, same thing here. I have three external hard drives. I got two of those. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I I have I have a data. My I use I use Dell Precision Workstation at home, a fifty eight hundred. I think it is. It has a, it has a separate data drive. I'm trying not to say data anymore because Star Trek corrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Yeah, it's, a big, it's yeah. a big thing at work. So, um, and I, I use two extra. I use three external hard drives on top of that, and I manually back up because I've had some raid catastrophes. Mm-hmm. And then I also so here at the house, I, I have three external hard drives. I haven't really tried. I haven't field tested this computer too much. It's it's just a precision, thirty six, thirty, and unfortunately. I just put 128 gigs of RAM in it. I thought it was going to be cool. It looked like it had an eight-core processor, but man, fan goes on even when I do email. So I don't know what's up with this. <laughs> wow. So Joe, like, I guess what I'm getting at is like, so how do you share? How do you get feedback, right? Quickly from the people JPEGs. That you need to get feedback. You do eight point, it's right. called eight, you do eight-point turns. Industry sta- industry standard since I was working for Hasbro in 2006. Eight points, you know, front, side, three-quarter in a strip. You know, it's just eight-point turns. And that's it. That's that's how everything gets. But how do you get the file to them? So, what do you send over <laughs> email? Do you go? No, I either use like uh, you typically use WeTran. But in the old days, it was a lot more yeah. hardcore, right? Yeah. So like, um, ship them a drive. No, like Warner Brothers used to have their own server, or Disney has their own server. You know, yeah. upload has their yeah. own server. But but most of the time, I just use WeTransfer. You know. Well, Je- Jeff works for Dropbox. No, so that's, wh- that's where we're going. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. No, I just works curious. for Dropbox. I just. Curious. I use Dropbox too, frankly. There you go. There you go. Hey, you happy? Right. I always. I, I used to get a lot of assets sent to me through Dropbox. You know, <laughs> no McFarland. Used, all this stuff. You know, a lot of companies use Dropbox, but for me, it's, I just use WeTransfer because. Dropbox scares me because I can't tell which box is which on my in my interface, but I'm afraid I'm going to put it in the wrong box. All right, <laughs> never mind. Cut, Joe. Cut. Yeah, okay. <laughs> time, 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 time. Yeah, no, I guess we'll be back. You see, at you, you see Joey's uh, comment here to bat- the battle on collect- collector. He's like, I hear you on the backups. I have a server and a dummy server that just acts as a dummy backup that I do manually once a week. <laughs> <laughs> dummy for a dummy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my, I got a my boy at work, man. He just I. I I know a guy lost effing. I, I know a toy sculptor lost everything with a raid failure. Oh, oh, no. wow. Damn. I, I, I update at the end of every session. Like I was working today and mm-hmm. I say I update at the end of every session. You know? Yeah. Because I brought, and then like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I guess I shouldn't say anything. I, oh, no, certain certain file. I, I, no, 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 I forgot to bring a file. So I, I have to, I have to like, I have to like FaceTime my daughter how to how to take one of those hard drives off my computer so she can bring it up here. Tomorrow. I do the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. You guys are horrible. Like I know. you guys are cringing over here. Like, Jeff is like that's like, why you should put it on Dropbox. Oh, I have such a better solution for you. I've asked my daughter but to do everything. A, there's, a, a jet, there's a there's a beauty to like going through, digging through an old hard drive and then finding like a picture from like 2010 that I sculpted that I totally forgot existed and like yeah. if no, I had that on, no man it's, I'm all, what, it's what happened well, with photos we just talked about this this weekend with photos because we were pull, trying to pull old photos up but like normally you would back in the day you would print them out and you have all these like portfolios yeah, yeah. now everything's digital and you take so many digital pictures because you don't think about it you just take digital picture and then you upload it Right, and it's lost forever. Uh, yeah. Time I get a new iPhone. Uh, well, well for... like Joe and myself are far back that you dig into a box and you find old tapes. Right, and yeah. you're like, "Do I have that tape player? Does that work?" And then you find old mixes or things like for me that I recorded. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, why Joel right. found the Betamax thing funny. Right, that, <laughs> it, it was what is it yeah, master right. master beta? What what is master, it? master, <laughs> master beta? Master baits the toy. Yes. <laughs> No, I need, I need, I need, I need to get so that VHS Star Wars stop animation, stop animation oh, film, awesome. mo- movie. I need to get that converted. Digitized, yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. I That's still cool. never have. To this day, I haven't done it, and it's shit. I mean, it's from 1983. I mean, it's from, no, it's from 1982, rather. When did Empire come? Jedi, uh, 80. Jedi came out in 83, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah so I made it in 82 or so. 
Yeah, you gotta preserve that, man. Because the yeah. media well, just degrades after every play. Yeah. But ain't, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm sorry for talking so much. Just I love oh. this stuff, man. No, you're you're the really guest. Man. You're the guest, Joe. That we want to know it. more about you. This is fantastic. So, so Bosk is saying uh, you're making me miss CDRWs. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what about zip drives? Remember the good old zip drives? Yeah, oh, dude, you want to you want to go back? You wanna, I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> um, Dark Forces wound up being Dark Forces was cool and all. Like I, I love I love Shadows of the Empire. God bless Dash Rendar. I hope he comes back in some capacity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But how 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 how? What about the evolution from Dark Forces to like Jedi Academy Two? You know what I mean? Like oh, the, the Kyle Katarn. I even have. I have those. I have those. Uh, Dark Dark Horse sent me those books. Actually, you know, they were like kind of novellas with the with uh, painted illustrations. What a, what a great story that was. But talk about classic media that doesn't like. Now you can download these games like for like nothing on like uh, Steam and stuff. And yeah. hey, can I ask you guys a question? You might know that I don't know. Uh -oh. This night, my, my son and I can't figure this out. So you can get Knights of the Old Republic on your phone, right? But what's this Knights of the Old Republic? Is it a remake or is it a reboot? Because we all know the ending of the Knights of the Old Republic. So the spoilers out there. Are they gonna? Is it a reboot or is it a remake? The video game. Have you guys heard anything about that? It depends. There, there's a a remastered edition coming out for PC and uh, Switch. I don't know if it's different. Though. It. Yeah, that's different. And then there's there's a re. It's not a remaster. The next one that's coming out. It's a. It's an enhanced version with like different stories. That's the what I mean. There's, yeah. there's, there's going to be there's a sequel. Anything? There's a sequel to Fallen Empire was like amazing. I, I don't play anything. I don't play any video. I, I like the Force Unleashed. I mean, it wasn't fent is that what's it called? The Force, Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Yeah, that was a good one. It was kind uh, of a side scroll though. It was kind of it was almost a little bit like Donkey Kong, but. <laughs> yeah, 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 just going one linear. The Fallen yeah. Empire, Fallen Order was just genius, man. I thought oh, that yeah. story was like. Oh, that was dude. good. That's not phenomenal. Phenomenal. My oh, son yeah. heard rumors that that character might, the, you know, the, the, the actor looks just yes. like, yeah, yes. there might be a live action thing my son said. They're talking about it. Andor. Yeah, he, yeah, he might show up. He's in that, yeah, Andor range. Uh, oh, really? Time frame. Yeah. That's, that's such a, a good, it's such a good, and the, um, like the gonna kid be from Shameless? Course. What's that? The kid from Shameless that also played the Joker in the yeah. Gotham yeah. stuff? Yeah. Jerome, yeah. Really. yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerome, whatever, yeah. You guys heard about the open the open world one that's coming out too. They're working, and then what was the one with the? That's the eclipse. eclipse. Was that the one where the Sith guys coming out of the pit of oil or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I love that. Why don't they make movies like that? I just don't. Yeah, know. My, my cousin, my cousin, she's an executive at Electronic Arts. I don't even ask her these questions. I should, because she would tell. No, she probably wouldn't. But <laughs> I got. I got. I got it. <laughs> she sent me a deluxe copy of. Uh, yeah. Battlefront when it came out, the new Battlefront. I got a deluxe copy of that. That was cool. nice. Because they just really, they're the publisher. They're not the studio that makes these games. You know, they're right, not right, really. Right. Right. Uh, I've already made a few characters off that Eclipse. I'm, I'm like stoked. I want to. Oh <laughs> yeah, my God. It's going to be like fanboys. We're like, oh yeah, this guy, Jar Jar Binks, is going to be the next big thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah. back tattoo. I just watched fanboys the other day, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe's going to be like, this guy <laughs> didn't do shit. I'm going to throw these fucking figures away. <laughs> At least, at least, at least, Lucasfilm had the. At least Disney had the coolness to give him my best at game show for a while. You know, like, you know, yeah. it's just like I, I just. Did you guys? You remember? You know, what I'm talking about like my best at some game show at Disney Plus or Disney Channel for a while, like Star Wars yeah. themed game show where like he was the Dude, host. When we were at Celebration 2019, he had a huge audience. Like he, there was love for him too. I mean, it just you know, I, I don't think. I know the character gets trashed, but there there are people that adore. Like, I I enjoy the character. I think he's mm -hmm. laughable in scenes and things like that, but I appreciate the fact that it was just so outside the can of Star Wars. I, I, I like the way Liam Neeson. Like I remember Liam Neeson like talking about like you know when he does a. He's like, yes, people for generations are gonna want. I have to get this right because people for generations are gonna are gonna marvel at it. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> so he's so pretend. He's pretentious enough that when he said like, you know, I'm just I'm above doing television from now on. And I, yeah. I almost for for a second I was like, son of a bitch, man, you did the cartoon. You can't do. This. You can't. And then when he showed up in Obi Wan, I was like, yes, you're yeah. so good. You know. I know you wanted more of them. You're like, show up. I know. 
There you go. We're never getting Liam on here now. Thanks, Joe. Joe <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcel just complimented your uh, your sculpture. He said, "Damn, that is huge." That's what she said. Yeah. What's up, Danny? <laughs> Somebody said something nice. About Thanks, sculpture. Marcel. Uh, can you bring that thing up bigger. closer, Joe? To the We're about to pan a dragon. Pan a dragon. Yeah. Can you, let's, let's, can you blow Joe up? I'm got him. That's amazing. Cool. Yeah, I want to see this thing. Holy uh, moly, dude! He, he did it are in like ma- what? Are a a lunch? Joe, Joe, are you making that super sculpty? Super sculpty? No, I three D printed yeah. it. No shit. Were you sculpting a ZBrush? Yeah. No, I, I didn't do the sculpting. I, uh, an artist did it uh, on. Uh, I oh, you customized. You customized, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Etsy. I just basically printed it and painted it. That's awesome, man. And then I put the, I I changed the saddle to all the fur. That's the hot toys bubble, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Dude, the, the, scale is, the scale is friggin' perfect. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That boba looks small compared to that thing. You can't like, yeah. that look like a one six, man. That's crazy. Yeah. It's it's definitely big. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Jeez. Yeah. I remember, Are you gonna put I, that, Joel? You got no room. I know. And tonight's <laughs> giveaway is. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It's in New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah. I do have a giveaway tonight. <laughs> yeah. I, remember, I just remember having echoes Uh-oh. of that, you know, in my head, and then it was like. Star Wars 11 or 16. That, that you guys, you guys don't remember the old Marvel comics, but like there was just, there was when Carmine Infantino took over drawing, and there's one cover where where Luke is in the Luke and and three PO and R2 are on top of a sinking spaceship, and there's another sea monster coming at him. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that cover. That was classic. That one. Oh, and they're yeah. sipping hot cocoa. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love those old comics. There was that one where like Luke was in this apparatus machine where he was supposed to keep his cool and it was like he was losing it and he just broke it apart it was these concepts that like didn't fit with the movies but it worked within the comic book story yeah. you know? well, Mar- like, marvel's, uh, marvel's brought back some of them um oh god who's it who's the cyborg bounty hunter guy forget it I can't, i'm losing his name balance balance yeah man yeah. balance he's back he's back in the regular continuity yeah and they- What's what about name? Jackson? Did you sculpt the uh, Jackson that we saw? I wish I did. <laughs> Jesus God, I wish I did. And then what's the Kirstan? What's his name? Kirst- what's the- Kyle Kirstan? No, the Wookiee. Kirst- no, Black Kirst- 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 Yeah, Black yeah. The way he shows up. Kirst- 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 from the- he yeah. come- I'm lo- I- they need to make a Dr. Afra. That design, that- it's gorgeous. Yeah, they have to. Dr. Afra is such a... F- the doc- I love the Star Wars comics that Marvel's doing, but I stop. It's just it gets confusing because they just keep rebooting it. They well, they yeah. keep renumbering it. Star Wars. I've one, thought about right, making one. her because because I I buy I only buy trades. So like I don't is this the Darth Vader volume I have or I don't have or what? Yeah, that's annoying with the Vader them. series. They just keep renumbering them. But I listen to the novels. Um, I I, I made it. I, <laughs> I don't buy the books <laughs> because I haven't. I can't. I have so many books. But I've been I've been listening to, to all the new stuff on audiobook. I love the Star Wars audiobooks because they have the special effects and they're pretty cool. Mm. But I'm also equally a big, not equal. I, well, yeah, I, I am. Uh, Doctor Who is really huge for me. This is Doctor Who, the um, Seal Rassilon tattoo. Doctor Who is another big, not as big as Star Wars, but super Sorry, big. Sorry, Joe. Go ahead. Try again. No, no. Just there. Oh, wait, oh there's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Seal mm-hmm. Rasslon. Look, Tyrell, Tyrell logo, Tyrell Corporation. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm, I'm like, it's like, look, there's, they got Jack Kirby over here. Nice. Neil Adams recently passed over here. I got this before he passed. Um, oh, nice. Morrissey before we turn it into a dick. Um, David Boyd. <laughs> <Boston, laughs> I just got Chili Pepper, right? That's Chili new. Pepper's there. Oh, look, you guys know comics at all? Oh, you yeah. Guys, you, you know what the, you know what the uh, ultimate nullifier is? You know, Reed Richard uses it to stop Galactus from eating the Earth. Yep. Nope. Yeah, I'm a geek. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we're, <laughs> Nerd. we're all That's nerds. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. We're in good awesome. company. Yep. What if the AT really spelled dog? But you know, you know what's cool about this stuff, Joe? <laughs> that's, that's the kind of stuff I like, though, too, is like where it's it's not it doesn't scream like geekdom. It's like you got to really know, like, the story and the – right? Yeah. I mean, I like that stuff, too. You're not a poser, dude. You you know right. the No, world. no. It's, I, 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 I really think – I, I can't stand contemporary American sculpture. I think most of it's garbage. And, and I'm a classically trained yeah. Russian Academy sculptor from America. The yeah. Russians and, the, and Pol- uh, Eastern European sculptures are fantastic. They're still very much, uh, the force is very much alive with them over there, right? 
with American sculptors, fi figurative sculptors in the galleries and stuff like that. They look like just dead anatomical models. The best sculptors right now in this country, I think some of the best sculptors in the world, period, are working in collectibles. It's it's a, it's so awesome. The kind of the the work that's being done, um, the kind of collectibles that I I, the, I I I I don't know if I'm not one of those like there's certain there's some statues that I see now where it's just detail detail greeble you know greeble that word from like uh, you know from like, making chips and stuff mm, Joel know that you know mm -hmm. greeblies yeah greeblies there's so many there's some of these statues man that just like art should be like stat art sculpt art and art. Sculpture and painting should be like music, like active, active pause. Imagine if it was just nothing. <laughs> if the drum beats didn't have any spaces between them, it would just be like one giant beat. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of these statues now just have details everywhere, everywhere. You don't. Right. For me, it's like your eyes don't have anywhere so that's to rest. What, so that's what your eye consumes rather than the pose, the dy the dynamic. Yeah. You like you, you need to see the spaces between the yeah. trees, right? You need to hear the the yeah. the, 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 the the pauses between the like it, and and things i'm not saying that they're bad or it's just it's just i don't know if i'm if maybe i'm phasing out a i don't have a choice aesthetically like everything every single thing you see in any web page or social media that i have that's a hundred percent the art director's vision you know i'm interpreting it but they're they're coach they're coaching me to make it how they want it right. because that's how they think the licensor wants it it's kind of like 1990s comics right where we got away from really good drawing and got into stylized details cross hatching you know and just like these guys that just had a certain technique so that's all the piece was versus just good foundational drawing yeah, how, how, and, and how ironic is it though that image comic is now the number one producer of like 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 avant-garde indie comics you know like, i know with walking yeah. dead and, and, it's just crazy all the, but you know what the, rob liefeld today is a better illustrator than he was back then and even his cool state you know I, and he's i met him at the 2000 i was at the dc comics that was a cool thing about working for dc directors i went to every dc comic-con party and that those days are gone <laughs> so i was at the, i was at the new york kickoff new york comic-con got, got gala red carpet show, you know get pictures taken kickoff for the new 52 there's i'm meeting greg capullo and i got rob liefeld and uh, he signed my hawk and dove number one the order you know and i i am hanging out my other dc comics my 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 greatest moment in my great the greatest i'm in, in my day job I, i've gotten to meet his whole his whole i've gotten to hang out and meet his holy his holiness the dalai lama and i can't say any more than that than that in mm -hmm. in, in my professional capacity <laughs> but man, meeting Frank Miller for me, my yeah. I'm, I, one one day I was at the I was, at, I was in the air, Philly airport waiting to go to Comic Con, and this, this little woman taps me on the shoulder. She goes, "Are you in Comic Con?" I'm like, yes. She and she taps me on the shoulder. Are you an artist? I'm like, yes. I'm Janice <laughs> Chang, and I look back. I'm like, and it's like Jesus Christ, Janice Chang. Janice Chang is a Chinese American pioneering letterer in comics, going back to 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 the Bronze Age. She is like, she's huge, um, and we developed a beautiful friendship all over these over these many years. She's um, my dear friend. I love her, her husband, son, uh, wonderful people, and uh, we're at this the last New York, the last San Diego Comic Con I was at before the pandemic with DC, or maybe the one before. I forget. I think it was the last though, and. Rooftop party. I already met Greg Capullo. One time I go to Jim Lee. I met Jim Lee so many times, but I forgot. So one time it's like at a panel, and I'm like, Whoops. he's at a panel. I'm like, hi, Jim. I sculpt for Hi, Mr. Lee. I sculpt for I know Joe. I know Joe. And I'm like, no, no, no. And he's like, I know Joe. I know Joe. And he got, he just, he got, I scared him off. Uh, but I was talking to Jim at this party. That was cool. He won't remember me now. But, um, <laughs> but, but, but Janet, she's, she's me. And I got to meet Frank Miller, guys. Oh wow! If you guys don't know who Frank Miller is, oh, we do. Dark Return, <laughs> yeah. Daredevil, Born Again. Like the, for me, he's like, if oh, it's like, and he was so gracious and kind and cool. Remember the Ronin and, series that he did? Yeah, man. Oh, he's got a new series coming out. He has his own imprint now. He's got his own public. He's, yeah. got, public, he's got his own. He's got his own label out now, man. And Dan DeDio, the old former uh, editor in chief yeah. of DC Comic yeah. Publishers, the editor in chief, he's publishing it. 
Uh, I'm still friends with the former former head of DC, uh, Diane Wheel and Nelson. She produced all the Harry Potter movies before she before Warner Brothers uh, moved over to DC. I keep in touch with her on social media. DC working for DC was cool because I actually interviewed to be a penciler at DC back in the day. No oh, shit. Yeah, when I was in, when I was finishing grad school for sculpture, I still had the comics <laughs> bug. The buddy was an assistant editor for Paul Kupperberg. Showed him my showed him my I did some pages and showed them to him. He's like, your drawing's great, but you don't know how to tell a story. You want to be an anchor. You want to try, <laughs> you want to try inking. And I'm like, I'm a penciler. He's well, like, that's what I was gonna say. Those guys, I mean, <laughs> you take it as an insult, you're right. You're like, these are beautiful panels. This is great. No, no, but he he kept saying, Do you want to try inking? I'm like, No, I'm a penciler. He's like, he's like, kid, last time, do you want to try inking? And I'm like, he's like, Well, it's a shame we don't do sculptures. Well, it's a shame we don't make sculptures. Yeah. Then I, I I I got interviewed with Don by Don Perlin at Valiant, and he's ripping me a new asshole. But he gives me a sample of Solar Man of the Atom script, a four a five pages to to draw, and I brought it to the editor of Solar near Comic Con. These are awesome. This is better than what we published. You're in. By that point, I'd already committed to going to study in, in Russia. Oh wow! And thank thank no, it's thank God I did because I met my beautiful wife. I had a great. Uh, oh. I finished my education. Met my wife. My daughter was born there. And yeah. I would not. This, this, this nothing this, I do not, with digitally would mean shit if I didn't have that traditional solid foundation that I had with the six years of my teacher right. here finished with the two years where he went to school because he was giving me shit that just didn't make sense until I was able to go there, and then once I was able to actually like learn, I didn't I didn't learn any Russian before I went there. I picked I, it's not great. I picked it up in like three months, and once I had people teaching me the concepts that really didn't translate. In Russian, then they made sense. In Russian, they have they just have art concepts that don't make art technique concepts that just don't make aesthetic concepts. There's words for them in Russian that you you can't really translate in English in a, in a, in one word, maybe in three sentences. But it just I, I had to synthesize everything he taught me, and the digital stuff is like anybody can learn this digital shit. That's why most. Well, I want to ask. Stuff, I want to ask you about that. Do you do you feel like for these up and coming? Artists that there's too much of a reliance on digital. Do you, yes. do you feel like? And well, I think I think you got these guys. I think you have these kids that make these like kitchen rubber gloves, the yellow rubber gloves, the, the inflated rubber gloves, and they put details on them. But I also think there's a lot of hungry kids in underserved countries, um, Latin America, South, you know, South places in South America where these kids don't their shit their shit dirt poor, and yet they get access to this software. And they worked their freaking asses off. Yeah. And now they're some of the most famous collectible sculptors on the planet. And they're making like at least six figures. And otherwise, they, they, they'd be like, they, I mean, same thing. Yeah, man, it, it, it's, it's an, it has empowered a community of artists across the planet to make a living that they would other not, otherwise not be able to make. Mm -hmm. Because when I, make, when I was doing my gallery sculpture and I got back from Russia for eight years, and that's all I ever wanted to do. Nobody gave a shit about it, but you know, I, I would, I would not be able. I, I mean, and I'm not naming anyone software or program or anything. I'm not because I, I have to be careful of that because of, because of my, my my job and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, man, I mean, it's and, and I'm not like rich. I'm in a mountain house because my wife works her fucking ass off as a tattoo artist and has a great <laughs> tattoo studio in Philly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, filigree tattoo in, in Philly. Juliana Menace. Juliana. Do you ever Menace. wake up the next day and go, "Where did that come from?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, never no, no, I, I don't. She, she, she doesn't do the kind of tattoos. I, she does like really high end fine art tattoos, all originals. Mm -hmm. Like the stuff that she'll do for me, she'll basically only do for me because, like, you know, she's like, I mean, she doesn't do Chili Peppers logos, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, she, but she'll do it for me. You, you can't go to her with like, hey. Can you do this, Judge Red? No, she won't do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not and that, that she's—that's that's cool. that's not her thing. There's because because there's a, like my her like the one of her one of the guys who in the shop where used to work at ben, uh, Benji Harris. He did this amazing Neil Adams Dead Man for me. Mm -hmm. I brought in the, I brought in the, I got the Neil Adams cover online, and then and then he did it for me. He does his own beautiful original work too, but but he captured that for me in a way that was really um, amazing to have. You know. So sweet. I mean, how, whose ears are bleeding? How, I've talked to you guys to death. Jeez, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 great. All, yeah, that's great. Oh, what we can do is is do a giveaway real quick. I know yeah. Joe. Joe right. has a giveaway. Can you can you tell us what the giveaway is, Joe? Nice. Nice. I want to blow him up. Let me let me look for it real Hold quick. Hold on, I get him. I get him. Ah, uh, where'd you go? There you are, right there. 
Oh, so what is this, Joe? What are we looking at? It's about the green army man back in the day, the Mark's army man size. Nice. I still it's that. It's pretty awesome. That's dope, dude. It'll pair well with an ad at. AT AT. At 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 at. Or or as my generation likes to call them, Imperial Walkers. There you go. Even better. Wow. That looks good, dude. It's insane. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's like a perfect. Tra- that's the perfect that blue. The- Start the over, Jay. Translucent <laughs> blue for the lightsaber. Go so again. Ba- no. It's Basically, I'm cleaning out some things, and I've got some company coming over, and I was like, well, shit, I got a bunch of these little figures, but this is the only one painted. Let's get it out of here. Right. Let me <laughs> let me set up a, a stream. Or let me set up a, a giveaway real quick. So I guess we, since it's, you know, the word of the night, a scope, might as well just do a... Hashtag scope. Hashtag, Hashtag scope. scope. There you go. All lowercase. All lowercase. So let me like get the screen up. That design is by Darkfire Designs, by the way. Okay. I just blew it up from uh, Legion size. Nice. That print looks good, the right. Sculpt. What's that, Jason? I said the print looks really good. Mm-hmm. Joe, yeah. what kind of, Joe, what kind of printer, printer do you use? I run uh, three anti-cubic mono X's, but I, you know what? I don't know if I'm a fan of those. <laughs> it's just what I started with, and I don't want to change. <laughs> yeah, you ever check out Form Labs? I've seen those in, at conventions and stuff. They're pretty wild. Yeah, a lot, of my, so. a lot of my buddies have them. Frozen, I heard, is really good too. We yeah, 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 I've heard of that too. The uh, the streamers are like eleven grand or something, though, man. We yeah. have three of them at my work, and they're awesome, though. But man, yeah. Let me plug this thing again real quick. So, yeah, guys, if you want to participate in this giveaway, the word is hashtag sculpt. Hashtag scope. Uh, Joe, I basically, I'm just a hobby guy staying in the hobby by doing this stuff. I, I don't make it oh, a career great, or anything yeah. like that. Can you imagine if Joel made this a career? <laughs> wow. I know, right? He'd be making yeah. some money. I'm, I'm actually a fabrication supervisor for an area work platform company. <laughs> right. That's a lot of words, man. I that know. is. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a welding supervisor. Oh, okay. There you go. That's usually what I say. I'm like, I'm in sales. I'm in yeah. sales. Uh, I, works, I, huh? I never make or I never make or tick welder. I'm a pretty good stick welder, which is easy to do. It's not right. as easy as some people think, though. Yeah, no, it's harder hey, than you think. Jeff's is a really good yeah. stick figure drawer. I, I am got, stick figure drawer. Oh, you know what? There's a hey, there's a Facebook user in the in the chat. Can you uh, authorize Facebook to see your name? That way we can uh, see if, who who wins if you win. <laughs> yeah, if you win and and your name's not there, make sure Evan gets your address so I can get it to you. All right, let's kick this sucker off, guys. Thanks, Tell I me think when. It's, I think it's yeah, time. That is the best stick figure I've ever seen. All, All right, right. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Izzy. 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 Nice. Nice. Awesome. Sweet. Congrats, Congrats. Izzy 67. Mm-hmm. Now, for the Panda Dragon, it is. Panda Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, make, I'm keeping space for that. <laughs> for now. Hey Izzy. hey, Izzy, if you want to you know, send Joel your information or send it to me, either one of us will we'll make sure he gets it. Yeah. How's he customs? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram. Oh, I know, you know, I'm yeah. out. Cool. Psh, easy. So you already yeah. boxed it up. Then, easy, bro. Izzy. Izzy. I, I think easy. it's Izzy if, if I'm thinking. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think it's Izzy who did all the stuff for Michael recently where yeah. he took the old okay. tenor stuff and blew it up. Yeah. He so, does amazing work. He was doing a 1-6 scale TIE yeah, fighter. That, that guy is an absolute stud. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, that's right. He's doing that big 1-6 TIE fighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. doing the detention center right now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's oh, it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you guys saw the one six scale Falcon, Falcon that uh, Hot Toys Hot did Toys, never yes. release. Yes, right? did they never released? Yeah. I got the Jazz Diorama one right there. Well, really? you need a garage for it because it's the size yeah. of a car. You know? that? Oh, speaking of cars, I was telling you guys, I was talking about my. I'm not a mater- I'm not a materialistic, right? I swear to Christ. I read a lot. I have a lot. I have I have about 200 graphic novels and, and omnibuses that I still haven't read yet because I just. I get like they come out and I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. Oh, I gotta get that. I'm like, <laughs> and one thing I found with omnibuses is if you don't buy, like, it was a Legion of Superheroes one I wanted to get, I let it go for a year, 
and the nineties, the hundred dollar, hundred four dollar omnibus is now like three hundred dollars. Yeah, man, I like, nuts. these are freaking reprints, man. I mean, like reprints. Are you serious? <laughs> you know, Comics are like when, spiked when up. When I was at Galaxy's Edge, I got that solo dice, and I always had I had them on my wall. But as soon as I got the Fiat Spider, Different I was like, okay, cool, right. On right, right on the rearview mirror, man. So I got the I got Hans dice. Everybody, yeah. just, my, I my got car, his dice on my rearview mirror too. What? Well, it's a black convert. <laughs> it's a black convertible Fiat Spider. So everybody's like making the Batmobile. And I'm like, nah, it's the Falcon, man. That's all. Up, man? What's up, Matt? Mr. Hess. Hey, Matt. Because when you have a Fiat, yeah. it's always like, hear me, baby, hold together, time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. L three now. I mean, we know who it is now. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, so let's let's go through some some of the collectibles this week and comment on those. What you got, Jeff? Did you get anything new this week? Did Jeff, get anything new this week? <laughs> Another hour of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got some stuff from Joel again, half fast so, like always. Yeah, I got this big thing from Joel. Oh yeah. Uh, it's so beautiful, man. I love it, dude. It's so big. <laughs> Joel, I, Joel, I want one. I need some biceps yeah. for that. So, yeah. I'm not going to hold it up very long because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's it's so cool. I mean, this was the last piece of the band that he's done for me. Um, like, just as in comparison, right? This is the toy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Um, and then he did this one. That's great. Droopy but cool. Put the detail on it. Yeah, but show it to show it to everybody like you showed it to us earlier. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You, you know those guys. Smile. Those guys were <laughs> laughing their ass off when they made this figure. <laughs> <laughs> they made this figure and laughed their ass off. Yeah, it's total. Well, it's funny because my uh, my wife saw it and she said, "Is that supposed to look like a penis?" <laughs> <laughs> said, no, it's not. I I'm not so sure. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know the He-Man guys used to do that stuff at Mattel. Yeah, and then that's funny. If I can get it without yanking my mic out, I did get. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh damn! Wait, who is that from? What? What what oh, okay. Is that vinyl? Oh, it's the Macari. Yeah. Macari. Oh, I got I got I got to Google. Oh, and you have the loop, right? You got the Yeah, loop. hang on. I can... wow. You can do it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah. damn. I am are you kidding a me? Corey nerd. Yeah. I didn't realize those were out already. I need to make him. You know, I, I worked I worked on the I worked on the Macquarie Han Solo that General Giant put out a couple years ago, the beard, but mm -hmm. they just took it back in house and they changed it up so much I just I couldn't I couldn't have my name attached to it. Not in not in an angry way, but it was just like Yeah. Yeah. But man, I love everything with Quarry. Anything. That, oh, yeah. I, I do too. I'm a nerd on that. I've got I've got the original Macquarie portfolio stuff up on my wall. I won't lift them up, they're all on the floor over here. Dad. Oh the helmets. Nice. Dude, those look beautiful. Oh, I forgot you got those in all the way so from you've down got under. Bigs, you've got Red Leader. Red Leader. Is that Porkins there? No, that's the guy, uh, it's Jack Claff's guy, but he's, this guy's blew up in the... Okay. Dude, what's the frame truck? picture? What's that? What's the frame shot? Oh, okay, yes. The McCory shot. Hamill and uh, Prowse? Yeah, that's Hamill and Prowse. Hey, show uh, uh, show Joe the uh, the wall uh, oh, figure yeah. case. Yeah, yeah that's... Oh, gosh. That, that's so cool. Isn't it, that's though? Awesome. That's so neat. Awesome. Rito's I'll bring you one. back. I need yeah, to do that for my brother. That's a time machine right there. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I, that's my favorite. You have about, you have about, you have about five times as many as I do. I have maybe two rows. Yeah, but you got the, your originals. I sold all my originals. So. I'll tell you what, man. They turn, they liquefy. They liquefy. New, they new Luke's nose melted off. Han's feet stick to the shelf if I leave them there too long. <laughs> yeah. No, they, the rubber yeah, they start melting. Fine. I'm trying to work on so that that it's a little different, right? So the picture that's to the right of it are all like Kenner proof of purchases. You know how you had to cut them all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Dude. Yeah. So I'm trying to get all the ones that actually didn't say like action figure, but they actually described. I didn't see that was. before, Jeff. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So I'm missing yeah, a few. But... You'll have to let me know what you're still looking for because I I have a few cards. Yeah, definitely. I'll I'll definitely shoot you a message. Um. Yeah. 
That's they're cool they're getting harder and harder to find, especially because people throw away a box if it's crap. So, mm -hmm. um, Man, you guys are all like individual Steve Sand Suites. I'm like a poser compared to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Rancho Obi Jeff. Yeah, right. I got. Usually, when you order stuff from Joel, you get like I mean, other things. It. You get like yes. a menagerie of things. Like, and yeah, I you got to throw in some extra stuff to make it cool, right? Oh, it's so cool! Like, I yeah, got like a, a drink thing. You, you and... order this, and you wind up with this, and then you wind up with yeah. this, and you wind up with this, <laughs> which is yeah. so amazing. Yeah, it is so awesome stuff, Joel. I love Thank every you. bit of it. So, mm -hmm. if you guys haven't bought something from him, definitely I recommend it. Do it, so you won't regret it. Well, you see, you see, Matt was saying, uh, who was it? I think it was Hess. Yeah, he, he's like, Joel, I want the entire band. It looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh, little boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Joe, if uh, Gentle Giant has plans to make the uh, the band, because that's that's the thing that's great about Joel, right? Is there are products that we or characters we think will never be produced. So that's the only thing I mess with. If it's a hot toys thing, I won't even touch it because I can't compete with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I want Joe to, so me and, so Joe, me and Joel have been talking, right? Because they, they had another band member that nobody has sculpted yet, which is the harmonica player. from The, the little mm -hmm. little dinosaur dude. Yeah, little yeah, dinosaur little green dude. dude on a little hump thingy yeah. or whatever he sits on, yeah. Yeah, but nobody sculpted it. Nobody's made a 3D file of him. Like, yeah! Speaking of which, yeah. So, but go ahead. Yeah. But hey, guys, got an extra five grand. I'll hook you up. That's just for the sculpting fee. Oh, cool. <laughs> I might be able to work something out with you. Maybe a B Wing pilot or something. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> like Do you take organs? Yeah, that's, that, yeah. that's awesome, man. And take yeah. organs. Uh, you know, kidneys. Uh, no, in, all, in all seriousness, it's not that nobody, I, nobody asked me the question, but it is a question I get all the time about commissions. I just can't, man. Between yeah, the two no, jobs, just not. Oh yeah. And then one guy at work one is like he had this great idea for a Mandalorian statue and, yeah. and all, I'm like, bro, it's it's gonna cost me X dollars to sculpt it and then you're gonna pay X dollars to print it and then you gotta pay X dollars to paint it. And I'm like, and if you really wanna go solid, you gotta cast it in resin. And I'm like, either way, man, I just don't have time. I would love I hear you. I totally hear you. I, you know, I even like even on my person any of my personal work, it's like all half it's not even half finished, it's like quarter finish. <laughs> my plan was to sculpt I sculpted John Frusciante because I like I use him like my spirit guide mm -hmm. got guide, right? And I, I was gonna do all four of the chili peppers before the before I got to see them the other day. And I'm gonna and I mean, I'm gonna see him in uh, on September third again in Philly, but I just didn't have the time to do it. I, my buddy was going to print them up. I was going to do them on to have the logo as the background, print all four heads. Just don't have time, man. I was going to say, yeah. if you're going to do full bodies, would Flea be closed or not closed? How would you sculpt they that? Have, you? They haven't done the sock thing since like 1998, man. Maybe he'd yeah. be wearing his outfit from uh, from Obi Wan. Well, Maybe it's like we we just we just watched um, I knew that was Woodstock. Him, but as as I heard the voice. Woodstock yeah. 99, Woodstock 99, train wreck. It, yeah, I, saw, I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers are at the end, and of course, Lee's or Flea's up there on stage, completely butt ass naked. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, hey, go Joe, for you it. Would, you would care. like this. I actually paid a guy to sculpt this. That's uh, fantastic. I could see it even in the small screen. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love that, man. So. It's cheaper to pay somebody to sculpt it by hand than to get it done digitally. It really is. Yeah, yeah. And it's and I'm not saying it's better or worse, but there is something there is a there is a beauty to having things like I, I think some of the best guys in the business are these guys, the Shiflet brothers. I think they they don't do commercial work anymore, very rarely. They think they maybe just did a death dealer or something. Mostly they do originals, but they sculpt everything in super sculpty and yeah. they're better than anybody. This know? guy, Joe, um, he he sculpts a really cool like Frankenstein. The rest of the group's heard it before, but like what's his name? Does, Do you know? Can you say his it's name? Stan, yeah, Stan Arts. Um, so uh, I don't know. And he does um, he does everything by uh, clay. He doesn't do any. Yeah, I, I know plenty. I mean, my most of my Facebook friends are like I'm across the across the spectrum of, of materials and and friends on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, or in person. Yeah, I know, I know. I know people doing VFX. I know. I know. I know people in every corner of the industry, whether it's prosthesis, you know, makeup effects. My one buddy works on the Mandalorian and all Netflix That's shows awesome. and shit like. Yeah, my one buddy sculpted the Gamorian guard, uh, Gamorian guard um, suits. 
I probably shouldn't have just said that, but I didn't say his name, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. sound effects. We can go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I know people that work, and like, all, I know, I know, I know people all over the place. But then again, I just probably unfriended most of them, like I said. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Joe, I just want to get this out there real quick. Time is precious, and I appreciate your time you're spending with us. Yes. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys. I'm the one talking your ears off. I appreciate uh, it. No, it's precious just... time, and you're spending it with us, yeah. so I get it. And we don't like to talk much, so you've got the show. So it's awesome. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, my a profound honor, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, seriously, I mean, yeah, I just uh, wanted to get that out. This is come on, we're Hi, all Joe, brothers. Joe, that's, 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 no. I look at fandom. Fandom is a fraternity. Fandom is like a tribal thing. It's a brother and sisterhood. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what political, what your political affiliations are, your race, and it's gender. Uh, sex, sexuality, nothing matters, man. No. We all love this shit, and it brings yeah. us all mm -hmm. together. Absolutely, yeah. and, and this is what the future should be. The future should be like you know the Republic or the Federation. Really, should we should all just be? We're all on the same team because yeah. <laughs> there's aliens out there that want to eat our brains, so we really need to pull together. <laughs> <laughs> That's for real, huh? If you listen <laughs> to Stephen Hawking, he's like, well, you better be careful what you wish for. Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Joe, awesome. is there is there something you try to put into each sculpt? Is there something that like a flair or something you enjoy that you always try to get into your work? Something I, that you I, find I, a commonality? Whatever the specificity is of the design or or the character that I'm given, I always just try and make them as sculpturally sound as I can, based on the kind of same kind of principles you're seeing in classical Greek sculpture and Italian Renaissance sculpture, basically. I, I don't I don't I don't look at others when I first started in collectibles I had a reference folder with tons of other collectible sculptors now all I do is look at ancient Greek sculpture and, and like Hellenistic sculpture and Renaissance sculpture Michelangelo and stuff like that for that kind of solidity and that structure that's what I aspire to to to, to, to do every time I sculpt yeah something. I, I totally get that yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a couple in there. Have you seen any of the, the Queen Studios, like, silicone stuff they're doing with their, like, life-size bust? It's amazing, um, man. It's amazing. It's, it's, it, let's just say if, if, if it's good enough to, it's, it's, uh, um, how do I not say this? Uh, I'd, I'd use it for reference. Let's put it like that. Let me say that. I'd use it for reference. I'd, it, it, it's probably better. Say if you're getting reference, for, if you get, it's better than any like the image. Like you can grab images offline from them. It's better than any studio reference you're ever going to get. Yeah, <laughs> These yeah, are right? amazing, yeah. man. Yeah, I got a chance to see uh, like the Doctor Strange and Tom Holland in person at Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, not too long ago. And, and really? it's so realistic, yeah. And that I tell you, that that Tom Hiddleston one, that Loki one, that was mm -hmm. one of the first first. Oh, one. The I Loki. saw the Gal Gadot yeah. and stuff like that, and I was like, okay, cool. But when I saw that Tom Hiddleston, the photos of the Tom Hiddleston, I was like, Jesus, is that him? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's <laughs> so good. I don't even, I don't I don't even know how they're doing. Are they sculpting like Madame Tussauds, like freehanding plastiline style? Are you, to sculpt some digital on the screen and blow it up life size and have it be that perfect? I, I don't know if that's really like. Yeah doable honestly because are they scanning them important. are they are maybe that right available that, that, yeah even scanning right. sucks man because the eyes are closed or even if they're not scanning yeah, not where, when you get scans man they're not as great as you think but they're actually they're a lot better now than they used to be <laughs> yeah. yeah we got like a two hundred fifty thousand dollar machine at work to you know to measure the holes and everything the alignment of our our fixtures I, I got my head scanned <laughs> i can make my own action <laughs> figure <laughs> one of those at ripley's but that, that's yeah, where at, at Ripley's we would get uh, we did a, a walking phoenix and we found a 3D print that we we had to blow up a couple times to get to scale, but then we it'd be a print with all the layers right so we have to mold that, cast it in uh, clay, texture it, cast it again in uh, silicone or plastic or wax whatever you needed it was quite a process. Yeah, uh, before I started doing this stuff, I worked in a fine art foundry for eight years like I was saying. And we had a we had scanners. I, I was a scan operator. I was CNC operator too. And then we we would we, we would mill it at CNC uh, mill it at. We had the biggest we had the biggest three D printer. Out, we had the biggest CNC milling machine outside of Disney on the East Coast. The kind they make car bodies out of. Yeah, I, we, I was able yeah. to. I, I I worked with Smooth On. I know I worked with Chavant to find a way to lick. We we were I think we were one of the first people in the country to um, get giant wax pots and melt. 
melt melt plastiline down and not non sulfur based doesn't doesn't wouldn't wouldn't ignite the same way so we would get plastiline to the, to the consistency of latex paint paint after we shellac after we seal the styrofoam we paint it on and then do softer clay to do all the textures and stuff. Like I did the, we did, I did the, I did the enlargement model for, and then I worked on the big model itself. Like those, I hate to say, I'm sorry, whatever political, I don't, I, I'm, I, don't, I am apolitical. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually very, I'm, I'm actually really, really political. Um, but I, so I don't want to offend more anybody. Of it, man. No, no, okay. No we, did, we did the elephants in Trump, Taj Mahal. We did the, the big giant elephants and I sculpted mm -hmm. The models for the elephants that would go outside of Trump Taj Mahal. Nice. In Atlantic City, you know. Nice. Yeah, all through the 3D enlarging process. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, my work has a CNC machine as well, and I keep trying to get me make make me like a land speeder bed. So when I oh. <laughs> when Hike Man kicks me out of the bed, I the doghouse is gonna be awesome. <laughs> there, it, there it is again, High oh, Command. Wow. That always cracks me up whenever oh, you say I got that, that High Command. Philip. That's so the funny. High Command. Yeah. <laughs> I stole that from. Philip. I wanted to I be it. an Imagineer, man. I really. There were times when I was like, man, I, I know a lot. I mean, that would be all, that would a as a sculptor that would be such a dream gig. It seems like I knew a guy that was living down there, but no, he wasn't working for Imagineering. Um, I actually know one person that worked for Imagineering for a while, but then I uh, think he's, he's think he's either working for animation or video games now. But every time I go to Disney World and I see these giant facades going up, where having been in, on the other side of it in the CNC world, you just knew how it was made, and it was like, oh, it would have been so exciting to do some of the statues for the parks and some of the ride sculpts and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's just the experiential. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just insane. You ever see that giant twenty foot tall sailor kissing the nurse statue? That yes. Yeah, I I, 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 I live down by it. Where Sarasota? No, I'm in San Diego. Oh, that one in Sarasota. I thought oh, there was Diego? one in San Diego. No, I, yeah. I did the six foot. I worked on the six foot version of that. Oh wow! That we scanned and enlarged. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. I worked for that guy. I was his ghost sculptor for many years, eight years. I sculpted wow. a lot of a lot of the stuff with that, that gentleman who's deceased now. I, I sculpted a lot of his stuff. It's his vision, his 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 thing, right? But like, mm -hmm. I, he he couldn't draw a straight line. So yeah, you yeah. bring it to life. Yeah. He literally couldn't draw a straight line. He couldn't sculpt anything. <laughs> he, was, he was an air. He was a Johnson and Johnson air that just paid people to do his stuff. I don't think anybody could walk a straight line right now. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, Scott could. You'll I could. It. Yeah. You'll run, run it because yeah, yeah, energy drink. <laughs> so Joe, just just a heads up: if General Giant Diamond wants to do a General Grievous or anything. That'd be cool. If, yeah. Uh, get get that idea. Out You'd there. have the possibility to actually make the the correct one. Every every single thing has been almost a fail somewhere. I mean, the the one that Jeff just got from Sideshow, amazing, but it's it's still not. I can't as good it. as it I could can't be in my collection, though. I, I, you yeah. see, everybody everybody's selling it also. I haven't seen my my favorite my favorite stuff that's out there. Uh, there's these guys, the Kacharik brothers. Their mythos, the sideshow. I mean, I love everything that Diamond and General Giant do, but but my friend, my friends, the Kacharik brothers, their mythos Vader that just, that just just came out is just insane. Okay, I love it's it. freaking I awesome. Love it. And how? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's just incredible. You know, their, their mythos Darth Maul, sick too. And um, yeah, I love it. I like the mythos statues, man. The Saj yeah, Ventures is nice too. Uh, Saj Ventures. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great one, man. I did that in six scale. I, I'm a six scale guy, so I gotta have it in six scale. I, 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 I know. I, it was really cool how Sideshow anticipate like their their um, mythos Obi Wan. How, how like how freaking long ago was that? Right? Yeah, I oh, know. They, they, they totally oh. called it. I mean, I know. Was Lucasfilm this, inspired by it? I don't know. Right? I must mean, have been. Thinking they were. This is Evan's favorite. Oh hell no! Show, 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 Dynamite. Show him the, show him the head sculpt on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, might know who sculpted it, so let's be gentle. No, I don't. I don't. Rem I, 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 I think my friend Matt Black did the Obi Wan, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know about the. I didn't. I don't remember seeing the Anakin. Yeah, I, was I don't think they finished that. Jeff's. It looks like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> A lot of it could be the paint application too, and yeah, uh, definitely you know, in the factory, not even the paint master. Because honestly, I don't know a single thing that Sideshow makes. I'm not. I'm not trying to kiss ass. I don't know a single thing that that they make in house that's not awesome. Sometimes shit comes out of the factories. You guys, yeah. One of my that's not bad, Evan. Family. 
Batman Family oh. multi-figure statue for DC. And when I saw it at Comic Con, like or Toy Fair, or whatever, how do I get? The, yeah, when I saw it at Comic Con or Toy Fair, the head was like, like a, almost like a third thinner. And yeah. I was like, "What the fuck is?" Excuse my language. <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah. I'm like, what you the lose heck? your mind, huh? And they're that's like, when... "Oh, that's that's lateral shrink in the factory." I mean, when yeah. you guys get production, uh... when you guys get stuff out of a box, it's not always the company. Trust me. I hate that. Right. Nothing right. can go wrong. Yeah, it's the mass produced, mass produced factories that they got to watch. Yeah, Otherwise, and they, their quality they, send QC, they, they send QC people over there, and honestly, the fact that anything's being made during COVID, and then the container crisis almost destroyed the collectibles industry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all yeah. Boxes Any stuck, industry. Yeah. But all this box, millions and millions of dollars of product were stuck, were stuck on the docks in China. They still and, are. I mean, Walmart actually, I think they actually hired, they actually bought their own, their own cargo ship. Wow. Yeah. Well, it, what's interesting yeah. is that I think even Home Depot teamed up with Walmart to be able to get product over here yeah. with their containers because they've cornered they've cornered that end of it they own everything and now now be careful now one of my buddies his he, he was he, he was accused he was he's one of my old art directors um he's a, he, he would qc stuff over at the factories all the time he married a, a woman from china uh oh. he's got property in china he's, he speaks you know he speaks uh he, mandarin he, so, yeah i don't I'm, I'm, i would i would think so but i'm not quite sure but um he said, man, with this Taiwan shit now, like, he's like, man, this, this could wind up decimating the toy industry. Yeah, man. It's, it, yeah. If, 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 it's Taiwan and, if China and Taiwan go to war, God forbid, mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want people to die. It's more important that people don't die that we don't get, that we don't get yeah. animals, right? But, yeah. yeah. Same yeah, thing, I, like, all of my buddies in, or, you know, Scott's in, got a guest. <laughs> yeah, oh, special guest. Now he's walking across the keyboard. No, so, I've, got a ton, I've, got, I've got a ton of friends in, in Russia and Ukraine, you know? And yeah. none of my Russian friends want to see this stuff happening. But not, yeah. It's the same in China. I went to China, and, and you know we started a factory over there. Those guys, they're cool. They just, they're just people. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of out of it. It's China. There's obviously people that are looking to express. Well, hello there. <laughs> but, hey, did anybody see, uh, and Joe, I don't know if you were involved in this, the, uh, the Obi-Wan Vader statue that came out this week from General Giant. No, I wish I did. Jesus, beautiful. Fantastic! It's a nice. I piece. think I saw it at Comic Con. It was most of the stuff. I, I was I was supposed to go to Comic Con, and the the closing on this house was floating. So my wife and I thought it was best if I stayed. I lost my un, non refundable ticket for the. Plane. Oh, the no. cool thing about being in the industry is you you get to go. You get your Comic Con badge for free for sure. Um, you have to. Yeah, it was good. But um, so I was scanning everything online, and like I saw about five. Or, this is the only Comic Con. Well, I only had one new piece out there, and that was oh, the, really? the, the ESB, the ESB Boba Fett. Yeah, mm -hmm. like all the other pieces. Hey, that, if there's any piece to have, that's that's. No, I appreciate that's it. The one. Yeah. I, went, I don't, I don't remember which one I did for. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, no. And the, the, I mean, and you'd be surprised too. Like, stuff will come out that's like, I mean, like, yeah, like that Boba. That Boba Fett was done. Over, I did my end of it was done a very, very long time ago. But no kidding. companies have their schedules. You know, their mar mm -hmm. they have their marketing schedules, and they 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 strategize stuff around both conventions and the release of shows and this and that. Um, there was one project I got to work on, not for not for not for not for Diamond or General, General Giant. I won't name the company, but a lot of time in the old days too, like projects for films would have code names. Like like every, we all know, Star Wars was called yeah. Blue Harvest, right? Yeah. Well, like I know I I know what other I know what other films have been called because I like I, I get I've gotten to work on film properties like a year or two in advance of them even being a year of them even being announced. Awesome. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, it is, but you have to be really careful. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You know, and like that, NDA, probably. those are the ones where you get, I told you about, you get the, you get the special servers and like, you know, <laughs> those are the times when like Warner brothers have me use a special server, like for the regular stuff, typically not, but, but sometimes like it's got to, you have to have a secure portal. High secrecy. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and like, um, Proprietary. You get a code name like 007. And... No, just, just the name. <laughs> no, the, the, pro, the project will have be, be like the project will have a code yeah. name. And then you work on the same. Sometimes you work on the same project for the same character for other companies, and it's the code name's the same, so you know it's coming from the stu studio. You know what I mean? That's cool. It's interesting. I, yeah. 
I used to crack up because I used to work for Hitachi, and they anytime their products would come out, they would name them after Godzilla, oh, <laughs> no way. like King Ghidorah or right Mothra, and they had all these like. <laughs> but it was funny because they were like from Japan. And stuff. Oh, well, they cool. had a nerd in the Cracking in the up. midst. <laughs> yeah, they were like it was everything was Godzilla. Everything. Rodan. Yeah, exactly. Every like new product they had was codenamed a Godzilla name. Yeah, that was so, awesome. It was really well, cool. I, I, this has nothing to do with codenames. I was thinking about you guys before I got on. Like I was waiting for it to get on, and I was outside. And I was looking outside, and I was like, when I'm, I was, I, I, I'm calling this place the Shire. Because it just that's mm. what it kind of reminds me. That's there's awesome. Old, there's an old old stone wall. <laughs> My buddy JG Jones, the famous comic artist, um, I asked him if he had because I asked him if he, he does a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff for himself. I asked him if he had something. I just I I know uh, Comic Con at a Gentle Giant party for so for more than ten years now. I'm, I'm buddies with Sir Richard Taylor with a workshop, and um, he's, uh. he, he's really super cool. He's one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever met. <laughs> but so I'm sitting out back and I thought this, be, the reason I, I was like, uh, cause I was also in like Excalibur, Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings, all that stuff as a kid. So like, this is what it reminds me of. I wanted it to remind me of Endor. And I thought about that. I was like, but the trees are just too skinny. And I'm like, <laughs> and then I thought about it. But if I was to, if I was to bring out my, if I got some, if I got some, some, some Kenner size Ewoks, then it's perfect, you know. Like, <laughs> so I, was, yeah. I was actually like, try, I was trying to, I was like, how can I work that in this show tonight? It looks like I just did. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. I'd be job. out there making a little village in the trees, and yeah, <laughs> you know, the one thing I'm gonna thing. make there in in in, uh, in the spirit of the way, there's this like life size egg shaped kind of statue. Mm -hmm. It's in the Miyazaki film, Spirited Away. One daughter has the dragon from the film tattooed on her arm. So I'm going to make the life-size sculpture. I'm going to weld it out of rebar. You know? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get an oxy-settling rig, hopefully, I guess. And, 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 uh, actually, I don't think I want that in my house. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a garage. But, um, yeah, yeah well, I'm going to make it out of concrete life-size for her, you know. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that's, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Came my keyboard uh, back. Yeah, that, that's really cool. He's just man. sitting right on the screen. It's like, there you go. We have five cats at home. We've got a hundred fifty pound Rottweiler and an eleven year old Bassett now. Did you say? Did you say one of your one of your kids was a sculptor? Uh, no, I'm gonna make the sculpture intended. for her. Yeah. Oh. No, no, I got a lawyer, another lawyer, possible architect, and my son. Um. He's fifteen. So. He's yeah. very. They'll figure it out. Unknown yeah. yet. He's very fifty. No, he's just having it. You know, it's 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 cool watching it. It's cool watching it. it's cool. the journey from boyhood to manhood is fascinating. <laughs> In fact, that, I'm still to going say the least. It. No, still I have to pick it. up a fox. No, but to be able to watch him be turned into a young man for him, they could. You know, I asked him in the beginning, "Well, you're going to see the Chili Peppers?" No, so just my future son-in-law and me. And then, then he turned around. And he said, "Yeah," and I was like, "Wow!" And so it took him to his first concert. <laughs> nice guy. You really. know what, though? I mean. To watch your boy go to manhood, there's also a, a manhood to fatherhood. So I get that. There's definitely. Wow, a, that's amazing too. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine that yet. We both grow. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. My daughter J2. is a pretty good artist. So. J two S O. Any pickups this week? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I got. Uh. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. I got some. Uh. J two S O. Is drunk. <laughs> where are you Dude, i'm not gonna he's lie very man. slow at the moment i'm a little slow this week because of, <laughs> well it's hot i got these uh i got these shorts from a uh, part oh. let me find you real quick i got him i got oh, it you got him oh, that's right. cool nice. So nice i got those uh, galactic empire shorts <laughs> that's awesome yeah, yeah it's it's tough guaranteed finding, to like, shoot straight yeah <laughs> i got i made this i didn't really I didn't buy it, but I, I, you guys probably saw I posted this. Uh, uh, repainted one of my helmets. Oh, <laughs> that came out really good, man. Yeah. Awesome. There's so many great helmets out there, but that five will first. I'm sorry, that's just my. Favorite. Yeah, he, it's that's just such a, it's such a, you know, awesome thing. And then you I, got uh, the blue. Hey Jay, you got the blue, right, man? You got the blue. That's oh, the hardest thing for me. Yeah, man, and I. I I wanted to call yours. I was like, man, I'm just gonna repaint my Ahsoka helmet for that. So, and then I, I've been working on Jeff's uh, uh, Java thing. So this is <laughs> it's, oh it's nice in cloud right cool. now. So how are you gonna ship that out? You got the dais, huh? 
So that's gonna be big, man. That's how a, do you that's keep the dust thing. down in your space? Wow. Uh, I yeah. don't. He lives in Florida. <laughs> I have to yeah. dump every 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 other week because we got these things. These wow. things, doggies and cats. Cuties, those cutie pies. But uh, mm -hmm. yes, I, I made that and I got those shorts. My uh, my uh, gate droid's supposed to be shipping this week sometime. So. Sweet. Oh, good. They're still having to do it, so he could. I have to put the install the diamonds myself, because uh, customs keep breaking them apart to see if they're real. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is what it is. But it's they just they so. just inter I just heard from Elijah today too. They they just uh, intercepted mats, I think, at the board. Yeah, and they broke it. Yeah, he said we broke, they broke. Why is Costa Rica well. like a a tender country for these things? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Me and Jason kept talking. We we're like messing around because we we're like. Can you believe it? We're like on a channel called Spice Runners, <laughs> right? They're shipping diamonds into the states. It's all like, mixed. With, it's all painted with cocoa. Yeah, cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, America's just, way worse. Anything coming from Costa Rica is, you know, yeah. Hard, but hard for inspection. Me and Jay, me and Jay, too, so we're like, yeah, we'll just hey, welcome to Spice Runners. We're in jail this week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> any new? Like it, it, no, it'd be like, like any new. Any new pickups, and it'd be like, well, Bubba over here. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, Bubba <laughs> Lemon Scream trilogy. <laughs> you let me yeah. reach around. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Scotty boy, how about you, man? Nothing. Lies. I mean, my wife, my wife's gotten a few things in. She's working on. Um, she got that Han Solo costume that we showed last time, and we've got it on a mannequin, and it looks awesome. We're redoing the belt, and uh, I think we just got the ski goggles in today, you know, for the top. So that's coming across real good and real cool. And then we got a couple of the um, the micro squadron. We got the X-wing invader ship to go along with the Falcon that we showed last time. But other than that, right now I'm like I'm debating on uh, what to go with for the shoulder armor because I want to do a Vader bust, and I need to contact uh, Manny. Portamac to see what he has. If I go with shadow effects, which like, you know, some people say is some of the best for the armor and everything, it's it's not cheap. It, you're looking at, you know, 600 and something bucks just to do that armor. So, um, and I've got the helmet, but I want to do a bust of that. And then I'm starting to think RS, well, the pound right now is actually less than the dollar. No way. Oh, perfect. So now, I need to get a hold of people. Yeah. It's a good time to probably buy something because it's either even or it's just under on their side where it's been the opposite for so long. So that's another thought that's in in the, the thing. But I think that's where I'm at. I'm like sitting back going, okay, what do I want to do? You know, do I want to get the Hot Toys Scout, Scout uh, Return of the Jedi Scout on bike? Do I want that because that's 500 bucks? Do I want to go with shoulder armor and try to get the box stuff done for the, the bust? Do I want to, you know, that's that's where I'm sitting right now. I'm kind of swirling around with, like, sure. which which direction do I want to go? Just get the RS Pro Master. You get the, yeah. uh, you get the MYC release tomorrow. The, uh... the, uh, the, yeah, the ATST. The ATST. The ATST. Yeah. 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 No, that thing looks amazing. And Merlin's doing the Chicken Walker and that one as models, and they're within 100 bucks of what the MYC is. The difference is going to be the shipping cost because yeah. MYC is... Mm -hmm not cheap on the shipping well nyc comes built too yeah and painted that's the other yeah. thing too is yeah. think about it within a hundred dollars one's a model that you got to put together that's studio scale the other one's done and painted yeah. so yeah and that yeah. goes on sale tomorrow right Evan? I've got yeah. Alarm set. yeah beautiful dude what one you, Jason, let's, what one let's, you let's, let's let's show joe so he, he can yeah. take a look at it you I guys keep talking like, I want to get that uh, collector's edition, man. The ninth, the the big ass, the one. big one. Yeah, you, you, Jay, Jason, you, that's that's probably where I'd be at. You didn't want the studio scale kid? That's not manageable, dude. I can't. I got the kids. kid, got the studio kids. scale kid. They will. They I'm gonna will, get it. My kids will break that inside of five minutes. Yeah. You guys aren't <laughs> following me. <laughs> Who's getting it? Are you getting so, it, Jason? So in the picture, I'm, you I'm, had the ATST the small one, you had the big one, and then you had the studio scale kid sitting in the middle. Yeah, I was asking who's up. who's getting the studio scale kid. I asked. Him <laughs> he has two of them already. Right. So this Evan, is what we're talking about, it? Joe. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I'm getting this one right here. The giant one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> what scale is that bigger one? It's not. 
It's okay. it's just twenty five point two inches. I don't think it's a scale. I think it's just a. Are any of them, are, are well, them prop so prop accurate, accurate? Prop scale accurate? This one's the little one's supposed to be. The little yeah. one. That's yeah. Freaking cool. It is cool. So there Perfect. it is. One twenty four scale. That's, That's one of the small, yeah. cool. small uh, one. Yeah. One of the coolest vehicle designs in all of. Oh everything. yeah. It's so cool. I love that cool. as a toy. Too, that toy of that I got one I got crazy. two of the Black Series ones of these. It's hey, still guys, cool. I, hate, I, hate, I hate to be I hate to be a jerk. I just you gotta run. Up. I just got a work related email from no, man. No, California yeah. pop up. I got I got send somebody Joe, some pictures. Thank, thank you. you. It's thank all good. You, Joe. Thank Joe. you so it, much, Joe. Thank you, thank you for Joe. your time. Thank, thank you guys. Absolutely. And hit me up. I, I saw two guys hit me up on Facebook. I just haven't I haven't had a chance to respond. Like I love to connect with everybody on Facebook. That'd be it's awesome. Hot. We get it. And I love to stay in touch with you guys. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, Joe. Out. This has been Thank a great you, time. Thank you, Thank you, Joe. Take care. Thanks have a good weekend. I'll see you later. Take care. Later, man. Joe. Appreciate it. See, that's the studio scale kid. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm seeing that blown up, I'm like, man, maybe that's the way to go. <clears throat> that's Which one? Awesome. The- the little one, the one twenty four yeah, scale, bigger no, one. the big ones. Big one. Yeah. Dude, that thing is that freaking one. fantastic, That's dude. Gotta be close yeah. to six. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I it, it, it's twenty five point two. Be. Maybe one twelfth in between. The hell is that? Yeah, that, that's big. That's, the, that, that's, that's, that's this that one. Photos, how much like, is the kid? Yeah, <laughs> how much is the kid? The kid is free. That's a little weird. <laughs> they go, yeah, they're trying to get rid of the kid. No, I'm just kidding. Man, that thing's beautiful. Uh, oh, wow. metal springs? Man. Oh, shit, that's cool. There's a lot of metal in this thing. I think the, la- the legs have some cast metal in it. Evan, how Call much is the biggest? 1493, I think. Jesus. Uh, that's stuff <laughs> on the pocketbook, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna print a B-wing cockpit. <laughs> yeah, but the the smaller one is what eight ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Cool. plus whatever the shipping's gonna be. So oh, yeah, what's the, the shipping gonna be on that large one? Jesus, it has been announced, but their their shipping runs like they have two shipping types. They have she uh she the C shipping, she and then they have the the air shipping. The the C one's a lot cheaper. So they run under two hundred bucks. That's when you're running the damage when you get it. Yeah. So so these things right. have room for a plaque. Does anybody know who the, <coughs> the ads driver is that we can get a signature plaque in front? Yeah, you better hurry. He's he's really old. Um, oh, no. is he on his way out, Jeff? Yeah, he's um, God, what's it's uh, he's a director also, or he, he directed a bunch of stuff too. Um, Watts, I think it's Watts. Hold on, hmm. I'll know in like two seconds. I say you get a picture of Jeff with the helmet on, and you just yeah. call it done. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Robert Watts. Okay. Yeah. He's on his way out, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's just he's still doing cons. He's just he's getting up there in age. So, like, any any point now, he's gonna just stop. Yeah. So you better do it soon. So. Yeah, he's still out. I mean, he's doing cons. He's doing. I think he just did one like two weekends ago. Oh wow! So, but he's he's like in his I think he's in his nineties now. So oh wow! But yeah, so get it if you're getting it. Like, yeah, I can help you with that, probably Jason, if you want. So yeah. I get some helpers. We can probably check yeah. out. Miller. Yeah. Some of us aren't golfing tomorrow, Sean. Mm. I'm uh, on Canada Dry now since I ran out of booze. <laughs> it's probably wise. Jason, we usually have these shows and people are really hurting the next day. So, <laughs> did you yeah, get Jay, anything we... yet, Jason? I got nothing this week, man. No, I'm dry. You got a lapel mic, dude. <laughs> dude. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm debating on putting a uh, cabinet in the middle of the room so I could start building oh, yeah. out. I'm pretty mm. much at that capacity. You're gonna have um, to lag it into the floor. <laughs> I know. Well, here's so here's the other thing over. too is is that I've got space right now where uh, Finn and Ray are occupying, and I'd always kind of plan to sell them and make room for the Blurg and Mando One Sixth. Better uh, choice, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was gonna be my question. It's like, should I just like, should I cancel that pre-order or should I stick with it? Because I know there's other stuff coming down. 
down the pike. That the Blurgen Mando's badass. It, it is. Mm. It's gorgeous. Well, that was going to be a question I was going to ask you, Jason. It's like you didn't get anything this week, but what do you have your eye on? You know, do you have things that you're like, I really want this, or I'm going to wait on this, or yeah. Yeah. a yeah, Max Rebo? <laughs> yeah, there you go, Max I Rebo. Do want the Max Rebo, yeah. Uh, the Ahsoka uh, uh, premium format Mando. Who tried uh, to pre-order? Gotcha. I didn't know because I I don't know if I have space. They just for it. they just announced the edition size. It's going to be small, man. For uh, Rosario Dawson. Yeah. I, I I just, I'm, her. I'm not a fan of her. No. I haven't bought, I haven't bought it yet, so I just, I'm stuck on it. I Joel, I, I think it's one of those we got to see the production. Yeah. Uh, see how it came out. Uh, I'm a huge Ahsoka fan, so I'm picky. Yeah. How many pieces? Seven, two. I think it was twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. pretty well. Yeah, I think Boba is going to be lower. Wow. Really? The new, yeah, the Mandalorian Boba. Okay. I'm going to look real yeah, quick. It, no, it is. You're right. It is. Since th- that was weird to me that Boba is lower than Ahsoka. Right. I think it was like 1500 for Boba. Boba. Which Boba? Mandalorian Boba. Are we okay. talking statues? Yeah. 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 Premium oh. format, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Vader Hot Toys from Obi Wan, obviously. Oh yeah, I had yeah. that in my pre-order, and I was like, mm. "You got three years." <laughs> I haven't pulled the trigger. <laughs> yeah, you got a ways. You can. Yeah, I, it's gonna out, be out. Yeah. I got a. I got an awesome file for the helmet. Oh really? Just, uh, just yesterday, I think I'm gonna try and print it and see what it looks like. You I missed out on one? the hollow. Hollow though, Joe. You don't get the hollow. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Hologram, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I make it's my like they, own. They dangle that right, like, oh, better. you're gonna miss out on this, and you're like, hey, I don't. The Inquisitor care. comes with a hologram, so that's cool. Just like these little oh, badasses. Yeah. That you know, cool yeah, right? too, man. You know, as soon as somebody puts it in a case and shows off, I could do my hollow. own. <laughs> oh, cool, dude. dude it was that awesome. 3D printer or resin? Re- that's resin. Oh, is that the five? Is that the I got the whole set. The you mother lover. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty badass. You see, as soon as you think you're done buying shit from Joel, he brings up. No, more shit. Yeah, no, 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 there's always something. <laughs> you should just give yeah. him access to your checkbook, dude. I know. Oh, oh, that's cool. Get it on the yeah. account. Yeah, I got the whole set. It's pretty badass. <laughs> what about the table? Well, I got the sideshow table. I, well, whatever. <laughs> I've, I've had I've had thoughts of making that like some sort of a clear and lighten it up so it lights up the yep. figures. Mm-hmm. So the so Regal Robot Tuscan, one to one. It's beautiful, dude. I saw it in person. <clears throat> for the price, though, it's out answer. out of out of the ballpark for me. Yeah, I'd love it, yeah. but it's out of the for ballpark. Me too. Evan's probably the one that's like, oh, nah. I, mean, I like it. What what is he what is he selling it for? I don't oh, know if you changed the price. The same price as the Chewy, I think. Oh, because really? I remember when I talked to him, it was like thirty five hundred. So I don't know yeah, if it. That's probably, probably where it's sitting. It, it's at four. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's my I, guess. That's my guess. Oh, okay. Because I, I think he's announcing it soon. Yeah. Because I mean, you've lot. got machined I, aluminum in there. And I, don't know. I get it. I mean, he's yeah. he's got a crew. He's got to pay for it. You know, it it's three D scanned from the original. Yeah. It has yeah, a lot of detail. Yeah. Archived and yeah, yeah uh, I'm kind of with Sean on the hot toys. I did have a little bit of a beef with the space between, space between. Yeah. yeah, that that seemed a little excessive. I'm pretty sure J2SO could make something pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been working on his, but I don't know that MYC. I, I can't get out of my head. There yeah, it goes blackout. Mm. Yeah, I almost... can do it too. Yeah, look at that See? blackout. Yeah, I go disappear. Yeah, there you go. J2SO, but the best yeah. force ball, force ball. Force, force ball. Yeah. That cost you maybe uh, two hundred <laughs> bucks to make. Okay, hold on. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that looks awesome. Yeah, that looks uh, great. The, man. the most expensive thing was the 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 ammo pouch was like fifty bucks for that. But I mean, again, it's if if you collect like archives and you know it's digitally scanned, you know how yeah, I get it, but. Well, now, now, now yeah. you, do you want to be able to say it's it's originally yeah. scanned, right? You want to have that clap. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that that a, the look. Yeah. BB, BB Fett, so a BB Fett that we just saw. BB yeah, even Sean says, "Is that Boba oh, yeah. on a BB-8?" 
Bobo on BB-8. It's like a bad joke. This this whole yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's like a blasphemous. Uh, Jason, you're so young. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mix those two. <laughs> blasphemous. <laughs> the two greatest characters in all of Star Wars. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They both start with a B. <laughs> BB-8's badass. Don't get me wrong, but no, that's fine. Trying, so I'm selling shit. I'm running out of room over here. It's just all cluttered over there. But I plan on filling it up. Figure out with the ATST, dude, because like I, I can't get that thing out of my head. I, I really want that piece. You gotta get the it. The NYC one, the Do little it. one. Uh, Do it. Does it come with a case? Yeah, you gotta buy no. the case. Got a pro- I think it comes with a stand, but I don't think it comes with any kind of a case. Yeah, I don't think it, they said it if it was an acrylic case or not. Yeah, I, yeah it has to be. In my how, how much That's larger is that from the Black Series one, though? I would yeah. think it's taller. I would think it would be yeah. closer to 124th for that, which should be about 18, 16, 18. Yeah, it was 19. Mm. It was 19 the, the, the little well, one? The other, the, other ones, well, the other ones he's done a case with recently, like the Jedi. I think everything's come with a case. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I should see if I can print one. I've got but yeah, but like the, the Imperial Droid didn't come with one, or did it? No, no, not the Imperial no. Droid. But that big one is going to, I mean, I can't do a display on. The Let's go around the, the, uh, the table. Like, what if you could pick one vehicle from the original trilogy, what, what would you want? God, that's a hard one, dude. For me, it's a I Y-Wing. Got... Well, I love the Y-Wing. I yeah. love the Y wing. I love the Star Destroyer. I've got I, I, Austin over in uh, Europe. He's I, I'm begging him for one a cockpit. <laughs> okay, and he's doing I think it. That's something you could do on your own. There's no files out there, Joel. No, there's files out there, but I mean, I love other people's art. It's just like you know, it's just like Joe. You know, the guy can do whatever he wants, but he also buys from other artists. So, so Sean says X wing. Okay. Again, any of you guys out in the chat? Yeah, please pipe in. What's yeah, your for favorite? Sure vehicle original trilogy vehicle scotty what's yours is it the merlin uh edit it, it's like i love the anap the problem is i love i love so many of the vehicles i love the y-wing the x-wing the ties the darth yeah, Vader ties, awesome. falcon the you know the adats yeah, the I, it, it's like i just love vehicles star destroyer i love to have a 40 inch 42 inch star destroyer you know, and they make kits for it, but they're resin kits, and I have a feeling I'd probably commit suicide halfway between them <laughs> because of, of <laughs> how resins work. You know, so I've got you like a, a mixture. Yeah, 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 but I mean, it's like all the vehicles that just the snow speeders. Um, th- th- they're just something. The A wings. You, you know what I mean? Ones, it's like I just take them all. One. One. Well, I'll probably the Falcon's probably one of my favorites. All right. For sure. Oh, no, that sucks. No. Just <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott, I got an extra Black Series Snowspeeder. No. Big one? Six inch. Yeah, I got one over here. Uh-huh. But thank you. Because to answer your question, Jason, Snowspeeders are my favorite. Okay. So, Joel, I'll talk to you because I want one. Okay. There you it go. doesn't have the yeah, pilot, yeah. but. That's okay. I have, I have well, one. It didn't of those have a pilot. It only came with DAC. Yeah. 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 I want to get rid of mine also. So, so Jeff's, what was yours? Um, so the part that the one thing that I'm kicking myself on is not buying the Vader NYC. Yeah, me too, uh, man. Tie, that tie advance. Yeah, I think I should have bought that. That one is that one pisses me how, off. That's how much that. was that? Was that one eleven hundred? I think so. Right? Yeah, so yeah, one, yeah, George. The way George has it displayed next to Vader is so mm-hmm. freaking badass. Should have bought that, man. That's and that's the one that I should have, would have, could have. Yeah, and it, 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 the issue is, is like there's not a lot of that model around. Right, right. Um, right. So I don't know that one. executor. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The, a, the other thing too boy. is, I mean, and Scott have talked about it too. Is is like, if you don't have the room, like the Bandai kits are really good. Yeah, yeah they are. are. Yeah, man, so, they're amazing. They're, they're, the detail is great. Everything goes together beautifully. I mean, I've got the Bandai Falcon one, the one seventy second, which is about nineteen inches. So it's it's decent size for that, but yeah, it's tough because I, I like them. I love the Bandai stuff, but at the same time, I'm like, make it a little bigger, make it a little bigger. You well, know what I mean? You, yeah. Think about it, they've made so many of the ships that if you wanted to get, you know, a yeah. number of them around, that's cool that they have the variety at that scale mm-hmm. so you could do more. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> they are okay, really good. From deck. <laughs> They're really good kits. They go to the other really quick and easy. And... Mm-hmm. Oh, it's terrible. Evan, what about you? 
brother. It'll be the Thai Advance too. That's your favorite? Yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing's badass. Yeah, it is. The Thai Advance, which one's that? So Vader's. Vader's ship with oh, the the tie yeah, with the curve, curve, and longer. I have these from when I was. What are you trying to say? I still have these. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Walk right into they, that they one. Fix are those that the nowadays, action fleet? Yeah. No, dude, I got these in. They're like I, I got them when I was a kid, so like '94. But yeah, there's this so they're the action life. fleet. Yeah, those are and cool. There's this version. That's the damage version. That one came with the set. Thanks for pointing out that you were a kid in '94, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Yeah, in '94, I was five years old. So Jason, that one oh came with God. the set. So there was a set. That, there was a play set that came with the damaged one. Yeah. I have all those. So all I, right. I know so all my who, who here that. is old enough to be Jason's father? Me. <laughs> Not it. Not it. <laughs> that would have have to been twelve, I think. Twelve. If wow. he was five and ninety four. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, it was seventeen and ninety four. <laughs> very that possible. That was nineteen. In ninety four? Jeez, that was twenty four. <laughs> I like this one. Five years older than me. Wow. You're permanently banned five. from the channel. Okay. I think I was the same age as, as you, Jeff. <laughs> or Jason. <laughs> You were five in ninety four, Joel? No, 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 nineteen eighteen. Nineteen eighteen, you were five? Oh, uh, I might have been twenty. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. It's math. I'm drunk. Yeah, there's some cracking math. Uh, Shit is math. Just so for, for that. Me, yeah. Well for yeah. me it's the tentative. I, I love that hammer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I love that too. That's Son of a bitch. Thing. I love them all. That's the thing, yeah. man. The OP has the has such good iconic vehicles. Dude, and to see that ship show up in Rogue One. And fucking implement yeah. and break the shield like that. I Ship like, show. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gambody has an awesome file for it. I want to buy it so bad. But it, you it know, was so instrumental how big? in that film to break the <laughs> whatever shield. scale you can print that your printer nice. will fit. I've got the uh, the tan of I've got the one for the game, the the X Wing game or whatever. Oh, so yeah, I got yeah. a lot of those the little action ones. Fleet? Yeah, no, it's not, no. Uh, well, no, no, it's, they're they're fleet. They're something fleet. Well, there's Armada Squadron. and the Oxwing. Yeah, Oxwing, whatever. It's X -wing, and that, yeah. that sucker's, I don't know, 13, 10, 10 to 13 inches yeah. long. Something it's long, like that. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that, one is, piece. that one is really cool. And Jason it's painted Clapper. really well. <laughs> I know, I was laughing at Jason. Because <laughs> there's two guys on screen going like this right now. <laughs> you just, you just got to remember to, tell, just to tell, kids. <laughs> tell your wife that's six inches and you're good. <laughs> it's all relevant. Right. I'll go again. This will never get old. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it looks like a little mushroom head coming up. Oh, you know damn good and well they 10, made 13, that just like that something like that. Oh hell yeah! It's somewhere in there. I think. I think it's like yeah. It's probably probably at least that. But it's you can. I think you can still find them on Amazon. Um, and they're probably going to run up close to a hundred bucks, seventy to a hundred bucks for them. Yes, what that's what I that's said. <laughs> yeah, seventy to twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> Jeff, you look like you had trouble lifting that. It is. Yeah, it, it can be, be a little difficult. But you are yeah. not a Jedi yet. <laughs> Shuttle Titanium. Ah, one two. Oh, that one's good Son too. Of a bitch. It's a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, Joel. I'm surprised Damn Marcel it. didn't say the the Skyhopper. Yeah, you know, uh, Jason Eaton's coming out with a kit for that that I think is about one ninety nine for the Sky what? Hopper, yeah. which will be a badass kit. It's not bad, dude. Doesn't come with a stand or whatever, so you have to figure that that crap out of it. But it is going to be a nice kit. Let's put on my little camera stand. I, don't you guys want to see how Joel exit his room every Friday night? <laughs> he does do what? That's good stuff. Like, very like shit. Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm like that big hero six in that one room where I set up the camera for the video for you guys. <laughs> I, I, I crawl around that trying to get around Jabba's tail and stuff <laughs> without getting me in the crotch. <laughs> He's like playing limbo every time he tries to get out of that room. Uh, right, actually, right. not seen that. <laughs> yes, I have. I, I thought that photo I thought was this room from a different angle, and you're like. No, that's another room. I'm like, what the hell? Is yeah, yeah, here? whole another room. <laughs> this I is a totally... 3D printing room. Yeah, yeah, the one I'm in. Yeah, right now. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. I, I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
but we love it. We High love Command. It. High Command says I've got one room that I'm not allowed in, and it's the downstairs bathroom. If I, oh, get I was going to say I thought it was the bedroom, but yeah. Nope, she's going to burn the house down. <laughs> That's funny. I have High Command. Yeah. I got that from from um, Philip, and I was like, I'm taking that. I'm running with that. Yeah, that is awesome. It is mm -hmm. definitely awesome. I got to be careful using that kind of language in this house because she'll <laughs> well, take you're, it over she's so cool though i mean mm -hmm. she likes that stuff the high command yeah. likes it yeah I, 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 i'm very lucky that my wife's into what she's into and that yeah. she likes things like she'll get things that i'm like oh that's really cool but i wouldn't necessarily buy them she'll be like i have to have it or i gotta and then i get to look at it and enjoy it as just as much so it's been cool lately she's been on a cookie jar kick so she found <laughs> A C-3PO cookie jar that looks like the helmet, and then she just got a Vader one in, and then there's an R2-D2 one coming, I think, tomorrow. So oh, she's, she's got her little thing. Yeah, and they're decent. I, I The R2-D2 cookie jar we had when I was a kid was awesome. It was all ceramic and beautiful, but it got to that point where you're like, I don't know what to do with it, and I have no idea what my mom did with it. It's gone. But yeah, I mean, little things like that has been really, really cool because she or she'll go for it. Like she saw the Han outfit and was like, I'm going to get a mannequin for it and I'm going to do it. And that's going to be, you know, in our living room. And I'm like, OK, now it's standing <laughs> in our living room. And it's like, hey, it's pretty cool. I mean, for a brief amount of time, that thing I had Ahsoka's costume on it. So it was Ahsoka tranny or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not not binary. Yeah, but we actually have a female uh, mannequin coming next week for that because she wants to do a full Ahsoka. So it's it's been cool. Right. It's been cool. Out. It's from uh, Fallout. Yeah. Sure is, I Mr. Gutsy. You. That's the one that just dropped. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, yeah, he's, he's pretty badass. Oh, you he broke it, dude? No, I didn't break it. I, it all comes apart. It's all magnetic. and Oh, cool. The hands oh. move and the head comes off. It's got the, the gut show. Oh, that's oh, cool. Man. That's awesome, yeah. dude. Uh, yeah, it's pretty badass. That's Dang, cool. Joel. I know. I gotta. I gotta show this one. I love. Dang, yes, Joel. yes, yes, yes. The green girl. Sweet. Oh, nice. I know nude nudity, but hmm. not really. It's it's a prototype. Just show the front again. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, so how are you gonna do the uh, the clothing? Do you have cut and sew? Do you? I I. I don't think I need to cut and sew. It's just all basically that netting stuff. So I think I'll be able to do it just like I, I, I got it figured out. So it's some uh, uh, elastic and netting. Okay. And I'll is this something that, that you're doing for you or no, is this, this is, like a this Yen's was a product? Commission. Yeah, it's for Yen's. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've ordered a couple bodies. So this one is the wrong color. If anybody's game for that one, it uh, it will be cheaper. Yeah, yeah. We need to find the little one, the little figure of it, because Janine's been doing the. Oh, the I have vintage. one of those. Yeah, so I yeah. have a couple. See, here we go. Um, Comes with delicious crumb. <laughs> I actually. Yeah, because that's like the clothing. one person that she's missing. She just got a Bib Fortuna today. That's an actual vintage piece that came in the mail. But I told her, I said, "You're missing that one girl." The they never girl. made her in vintage, but I, I, I do have one. I have, uh, I have the mail away one, and then other ones, yeah. Yeah, but it's like you gave her you gave her the 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 um, Max Rebo band. and the band. Yeah. My God, that's what set her off with this. She's like, I've got to do this whole thing. <laughs> got to do the rest. I'll hook her yeah. up. Mm -hmm. She loves that stuff. And dude, uh, so awesome of you. Yeah. And then uh, this is awesome. This. Uh, yeah. Are you making that for somebody? Joel? Do I see no. a little CT? Uh, Matt, my friend Matt, he uh, he got one from Jazz Inc. and it was broken. So uh, when he sent him the replacement parts, he didn't send him the netting or the or the base or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I had to make the base and the netting. The netting I, I think I did fairly well with. I used paratrooper backpack that I tore apart and an old vintage G.I. Joe net. This, my brother would probably kill me if he knew I did that. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I stained the net. And that in, in Force Awakens, I, I just love that. I love oh. the scenes of her ride. <laughs> and then I had to put her helmet on there because it's just not as cool without that. That, helmet. that is cool. I did like that part. <laughs> That's why even though I don't like the prequels much anymore, I love the Dave Dorman print I have her on that. 
where she's getting hassled by the first order. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. There's just great story elements. Well, I mean, the, the Force Awakens, I don't think was too bad. I think it was pretty no. decent. Yeah. Um, it still doesn't compare to the original three for me. Same with the prequels. They just don't compare to the original three, but it wasn't bad. And some of the stuff that came out of it was cool, except for that round, that freaking rectangle radar dish on the Falcon. That that <laughs> just irritates me. <laughs> awesome. So the helmet I, do, I did on the base with the skull is actually the the helmet of uh, oh Wolf Squadron uh, Dave Filoni. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's got the Wolf's decals on it and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I saw somebody got that helmet today, um, so oh, I guess they're, they're out earlier. Yeah, the Black Series one. Yeah, Dude, they're, they're and then of course, fast. yeah, nub nub, incredible. Yeah, yeah good. look at that. Well, you know what's crazy is yeah, the, the the face sculpt is so crazy, but then there's everything in the outfit that you can focus on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I I kit bash this quite a bit, you know, so. This is the snow speeder loop. These are like from the indoor. And then this, I stained this or I dyed it. And then this is leather. And that chest piece is from Enod. Okay. And this is actually, the set, the summit is from, uh, uh, what the hell's the name? Uh, they're from Italy. Uh, I'm drawing Diag- a blank there. Uh, <laughs> for Jilly? Uh, Diagostino? Di- Diagostini. Yeah, yeah Diagostini. Diagostini. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and then I cut the legs and I shrink it so he's he's got the right scale to him and yeah, it's pretty badass. Uh, so how no. how do you cut the nail? Sorry, whoever had that. Cut the legs? Yeah, cut the legs. Sorry. I just take a little uh, uh, Milwaukee saw and I cut the legs off and I use green. <laughs> stu- I use green stuff and put it back together and it holds really. S- that green stuff is pretty good wow. for stuff like that. It's like JB well, but it's stronger and. It, it, mm. It's not so a sticky. Do you spend any time with your wife, or uh... I do. I wait until she goes to bed, and then I. Uh... Then he does. Then he does Joel things. <laughs> so that's why, I, for for Joe, that's why I said, you know, hey, uh, I get it. Time is precious, and mm-hmm. and for him to spend the time mm-hmm. with us Damn, today. Man. Yeah. No. Well, you don't sleep. That was the other part, right? I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I not very much. So. So yeah. I want that I, superpower, Sean. Sure. John, if you're gonna get all the Boba Fett's, technically you gotta get Book of Boba Fett. I mean, yeah. I mean, dum 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 dum. I'm gonna have to get Book of Boba Fett to put him on the Rancor. (laughs) What happened to the Rancor? He was back there where the dragon was. Oh, I moved him to the other room. He's in the other room where I took that video. Duh. Duh, oh, Jeff. Uh, in the other room. I, 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 I love when room. the kids moved out. When the kids moved out, I just like moved in, and I was like, "You can't move back in now." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If you fill it, you can't. it's harder for them to move back. They sure tried. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that, that happened to a friend of mine. He was like, "I'm out of here. I'm getting my own place." Dad's like, "Sure." He was gone not even a week. Couldn't make it. Comes back. They've already turned his room into an exercise room. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> exercise is just. This is my exercise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm mental. Fat. <laughs> mental, mental exercise, is, except for math when you're when you're buzzed. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. math is not a good. Ju- <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, hey guys, we've been at it for yeah, long long over two and a half hours. So. Yeah, because we're badasses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I'd say let's let's call it a night. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't like hanging out with you guys anyway. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so thanks for you for you guys watching. Uh, the winner of the prize tonight, please reach out to me or Joe. Let uh, us he see got your Yeah, he did. Yeah, cool. We're good. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks, Joe, again uh, for being on the show. I that, love was, doing it. that was awesome. That was an awesome yeah. uh, episode. His stories were great. He was all worried about talking too oh, much, Joe. and it was like we yeah. were just sucking oh, it up. On, it, it, was it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great. I could listen to that guy all night long. Oh Seriously. yeah. It's All right. Well, we'll continue our chat in the in the green room. So, thanks for everybody being here tonight. Later, thanks man. Good weekend. Later, Scum and Valley. May the force be with you. Yeah.